Hello, hello, everybody. We are continuing our playthrough of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. But before we actually go in, let's take a look at their adventure log. 21 moves learned, 6 Pokemon join the team, 130 floors explored, and uh, that's all that we can... Uh, out of the many, 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 many stats that are tracked in this game, that's all that we have currently. Ah, I guess it says, like, ah, you got so far, you've beaten Zapdos. That's nice to know. Onwards we go. Resume the saved adventure. Yes. Alright, last time we were just doing some things. Good morning, Neon. The last time. The last story beat was we went to Mount Thunder, beat up Zapdos to save Shiftry, Alakazam saw through our true nature and gleaned that we are indeed a Pokemon. And a Max Elixir. A Grey Gummy. Linked Moves Entry, Level 2. These are the recommended linked moves for beginners. I thought that we already saw that. I'll put it away. I'll put it away. Let's see. I only have the Mount Thunder taunt mission still on. Uh, one Mount Steel, one Thunder Wave Cave, two Silent Chasms. So, we'll definitely have to go see if miraculously the Kesleon Bros will have the magical power of taunt. Oh, I guess we forgot. Oh yeah, was that a thing? I don't know. My brain is like... The constant state of going and putting things away makes me wonder if I did not put the thing away last time. We want two apples. Switch orb, apple, sky gummy, pekka berry, max elixir, pecker, apple, 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 and pink. Goodbye, gummies. Into the store you go. Wait, uh... I want one reviver, one extra reviver seed, please. I want two reviver seeds on me at all times. Wait, no, not store. Take. If only so that if something happens and uh, I get blindsided once, I can go into panic mode and uh, have one more chance of please don't kill me. Nope, just another hidden power. How much money do I have in the bank? Well, I'm gonna be super rich for a while. At least until the 10,000 pokey friend areas come out. Then my bank account's gonna be gone. Let's see. Deliver one rest. What would you even give me for that? A Grey Gummy Plus. So, a hidden thing. I don't have rest, though. And, uh, of course it's another Mount Thunder. So let's see, there's... I'm sad and lonely. Hasn't come back. And then like two... In my mailbox. One Mount Steel. One Thunder Cave. Two Silent. And that would give me a decent amount of... Rescue Team points. I'm sad and lonely. And then it goes, I lost in a battle. Well, which is it? Are you sad and lonely or did you lose a battle? You just don't make sense, slack off. And I guess you guys don't have anything. Oh, it's shocking to hear you beaten Zapdos. It's shock. I don't think I even commented on that. It's shocking to hear. Oh, yeah, thing that we were actually going to do. We were going to... I'm gonna try and make it a habit of maybe once a stream of this. Oh, and before, I'm gonna need uh, some money for that linking, because we're adding Sand Attack to our chain. I would like to take out 400? I think 400 would do. Thank you, Persian. I'm gonna add Sand Attack to my link. Proceed. Me moves. Sand attack. I would like to link. Yes! Sand attack, tail whip, tackle. All for 22.
now it'll be like a super combo. I'll do... Uh, uh, let's do the grass maze. Let's just go in order. We'll either do one of these a stream or maybe two. Whoop! You missed. Okay, we're just going... Maybe we should just go through multiple if that's how it's going to be. May and then level two can arise. And let, let's go ahead, see? So this is probably a thing we were supposed to do a while back, and I don't think I ever did the dojo last time that I play this game, or ever. I wonder, do the do, do, is there a dojo equivalent? In other Pokemon Mystery Dungeon games, I don't remember there being a dojo equivalent in Explorers. Not very effective. Still annihilates, like, three times a Pokemon's health. Shane is a beast. He is a beastie salad. Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any items, so it's basically just get to the end of the dojo as quickly as possible. Never mind, they're just here. All right, because we want them to come to us. Shang, tactic. Let's go together. Rock. That also works. Woot! <laughs> Imagine that a, a Trico just whoo, moves slightly and the friend, your bundle of friends next to you just dies. Sand attack, tail whip, and tackle. 69. Be careful, they're super tough. Not really. I am the Winrar. Ah, you've succeeded in your training. You've shown your worth. Without a doubt, you've grown more powerful from your training. Sure, let's go on ahead until... Hmm. Is, uh, is there no fire maze? This is Courses 1. Fighting, flying, the there is no fire maze. Alright, let's go to the Electric Mage. The Electric Mage. And as we've learned and retained... Okay, this is a cool tile set. This is a cool tile set. And as we remember from previous... Dealies, just screw it. Go on ahead. Oh, we're three levels. We're right here. Rock. Sand, tail, and tackle. They are slightly more intimidating than their allies. Goodbye. And that's how you murder a bunch of people and take their money. <laughs> if I knew these were as easy as they are, I would have done them a bit ago. Mainly because th they're down here, so I don't really think much on doing them. They just kind of exist in my mind as a little thing that's like, yeah, I should do that. And then I don't do them. I'm very dumb. It's just... I didn't think it would be this easy. It's kind of funny. It just amuses me. Oh. Let's see, what's next? Go train. Next on the list is the fighting. Oh, it's gonna come annihilate me. It's gonna eat my soul. Because I'm the normal type. Well, let's see how well. <gasps> Shame behind you. I really shouldn't be wasting rocks. They're just, they're easy to kill and they're not gonna want to join me. So, yep, it's just a speed run. Find the exit, get out. Because as much as like, oh, we want to help you on your mystery dungeon career. 
In actuality. <laughs> really, this is probably just a group of masochists wanting to be beaten up. Because they don't give items. And that's like one of the big things of Mystery Dungeons. Murder for profit. I own your mountain, small meditative man. Oh! Well, that's scary. I'm not gonna waste any more rocks. You scare me, so I'm gonna kill you. Oh dear. Good. Seen. <laughs> Whenever I see a Hitmon Lee or a Hitmon Shan, I immediately go, Oh no. <laughs> they just have a presence of, Oh, they should be. They should annihilate me. Even though. I don't think that's, like, a, a thing. The Hitmons are actually kind of meh, if I remember from what I've read. At least in Generation 1. Well, okay. Let's keep going. See what ha- what, what, what reward might we get if... What would the reward be? I can only wonder. And do they not inform the the training Pokemon when somebody's going to come in and seek the beatings? Because that one was just sleeping. I get it, I get it. It's basically just repackaging Mystery Dungeon, like, layout and code for people to do and train, I guess. But in-universe... It's kind of silly to see a Pokemon is like, I'm just going to lay down. Come fight me. I shall smack you multiple times. But you can't run away. We're training. How dare you? Just because I did lots of damage, you're going to try and run away? Utter madness. To the poison maze. Let's just do them all if they're this easy. See what? Underleveled reward. Okay, this is a creepy palette. But yeah. I can only imagine what the reward will be, considering that this is going so easy. I can only wonder. Will it actually be worthwhile, or will it be something like a power band? And it's just like, oh. <laughs> the ultimate question. Useful, or you would have been useful if I did this when I should have? We will have to wait and see. Darn circles! What even natural geographic thing is this place? It's poison water and tall reeds. You think you can hit me? You will still die. Oh, well, you exist so we can kill you. Out of the way. Ah, you're not gonna get me to waste all my power. Alright, you kind of scare me, so rock. Why are all my sand attacks missing? All my sand attacks are missing! Was there some retyping to sand attack to make it something immune? It just says it's not effective, so I wonder what it is. There were... Then again, I really shouldn't expect this to be, like, that difficult considering that, really, we beat Zapdos already. And sure, Zapdos is like, oh, I'll actually try next time. But these are just volunteer mons. They're like, we'll help the rescue teams by being punching bags. So I can only assume 
that me trying to actually expect like anything from these fools is kind of silly. Rock. Did you try to hit me from a wall? Utter foolishness. Ah, we missed the one room that we were meant to go to. Well, we're rescue teams, not cartographers. My sand attack. <laughs> it almost feels like sand attack. Instead of lowering the accuracy of the enemy, it just lowers the accuracy of sand attack. I too kindly go away. I'm on adventure here. Kill. Oh, hey, we're in the room of the staircase. Yay. Because the, the main, like, uh, oh, what do I do when it comes to mystery dungeons are do you take the easy out or do you continue looking for like items and stuff and then with this it's just find the the end like don't even it don't even matter my sand attack why what do you fail sandy sandy the attacky my pocket sand The Weedle is the last one standing, and now it will die. In universe, I wonder what this looks like. Just an Eevee and a Trico, a Trico come in and annihilate the dojo. It's like, how are you doing so well against all our practice dojo mons? It's just like, yeah, we thought we would practice up, get a bit strong so that we didn't completely just make a mockery of ourselves trying and instead we're making a mockery of your dojo. We're sorry. Get out of here. It's just a speed run. Go as fast as possible to annihilate your enemy. And at least when we go into actual dungeons... Now, I'll have Sand Attack ready to blast in their face. Oh boy. You scare me. Have a rock. It would be kind of funny if the rock did less damage against rock types. It would be stupid and hurt my soul, but I would still find it kind of funny. I would respect it and go, <laughs> Why is there also, like, so much room to this? I guess in case you want to maneuver your allies a bit by telling them to run away. May the success of annihilating our poor people strive ever onwards to the dark maze. Let me guess, it's going to be super dark in there. Who knows Flash? What are HMs in this world? Ah, uh, it's just the electric maze again. Well, that just won't do. Note to self, actually use moves on... Puchiana because it's the designated coward, I guess. Hello, Puchiana. You got pocket sanded, and now you will die. Some sand, some tail, and then my face to your face. All at once. How dare you? You have incurred the wrath of the Eevee. Okay, now I wonder. I wonder if there would if there was like a poll that was out there and it was basically like if you could have one Pokemon be added as a playable and or partner po like a, yeah, playable hero Pokemon or partner Pokemon for a mystery dungeon game, what Pokemon would you choose? I don't know. Get rid of the Murkrow. 
my pocket sand is failing me. Pocket sand. <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Return of the Pocket Sand. Because we didn't really use that much pocket sand in Pokemon Crystal. And now there's one more. I thought there would be a thing where it's like, oh, these are kind of difficult or time-consuming. So I only want to do a few, maybe one or two a stream. And then here we are, just not even 30 minutes in, and we're already at the final one of these cor courses. I am immensely amused. Just throwing a, a, an entire shelf of sand into the singular eye of a Beldum. And then there was that one. Just imagine being a Pokemon for the dojo, and you're like, I can't wait to help the, the rescue dungeon teams come through and train. And then right as I'm starting to come through, this, like, but I'll go take a nap. And then the mystery dungeon team just goes right past you. The opposing team. They're here. They're super tough. No, they're not. They are not tough at all. They are fools. And they will die. They will die like fools. Goodbye. Alright. Disappoint me. What is the disappointment I shall face? You've shown your worth. Without doubt, you've grown more powerful from your training. May the success drive you even harder. Did I not win? You said that there would be a victor! The surgery was founded. Train different rooms to level up and toughen up your team. Also, in the fire maze, you will find only fire pot. But if there was no fire maze, could I... I, tr I thought I tried everything. Could I actually scroll different ways? Because I thought I tried. For a team that's specific completes all training courses, I have a special reward. Let them compel you to train. All right, let's see. Left and right. I completed all that is here. I guess let's do the water maze again because there's no fire maze. So maybe they add more mazes as you progress through the game just to stop you from annihilating the dungeon the courses in one go? Maybe? Because I couldn't scroll up or down to any new mazes, and there was no option to... And there was no option to flip to, like, a new tile of dungeon. It was only Courses 1. So if nothing new happens after completing this, a new new mazes just pop up as the story demands, I can only assume. This isn't the water maze, it's the poly polywag maze. So yeah, if nothing happens after we beat up these polywags, then that will basically prove that more dungeons just need to be unlocked. Beat him up for me, Shane. I'm gonna take a nap. Ah, you're giving me a bubble bath? How nice of you. And now I've awoken. Alright, I beat that one twice. And let's see if it changed at all. Nope. Can't change anything. Can't go one way, can't go another. So, more. So basically, he lied. Or maybe he'll mail me my victory. I don't know. Whose house is this? It's a berry house. We can't take their mail. It's like the only house in the entire square. 
All right, now let's take a look at our jobs. We have a bunch of Mount Thunder. So let's see. Job list. Wrong one. Check mail. We have two, as opposed to we can only take one more. What would you give me again? Just 200 pokey. And it's an escort. But it is Thunder Wave Cave. Max Elixir Wanted, Gravel Rock Plus. Then it's... Mm, so I guess... I guess I'll get rid of the Thunder Wave Cave Escort and take the other two Mount Thunders here. Alright, and aside from Deliver One Taunt, we'll take these Mount Thunders to clear up the thing anything, because we still don't have a taunt. Now the question is, what team member do we want to do? Since we're doing Mount Thunder, let's bring Brock so that he can throw rocks at our foe. All right, and now with the dojo seemingly completed for now. I probably should have brought more apples. God damn it, it's Mount Thunder, it's two-parter. I'm not used to this length of a dungeon. God damn you. We went the long way around. Still think Wonder Tiles should take care of this. Paralysis doesn't last forever. Why does this last forever? But I do have more rocks. That's what matters. And then I'll help you with rocks. Rock. God damn it. Maybe I should get rid of your mimic so that way you don't waste time doing things like that. I'll give you one more turn. Kill. There we go. And now we no long we are no longer poisoned. A gray gummy. This should be the normal one, right? Info. Rock type, actually. Which means it'll go to you. There's like gray, clear, silver. So many gummies. Wait, did it say he didn't like that? But it's a rock. It's a rock one. Idiot, you can't shoot through a corner like that. I'll throw a rock at you. You're just mean. I'm a metagamer. I'll just sit here and throw that at you a million times. Okay, but now that we don't have to worry about being poisoned, or we, we have to worry about being poisoned, but we don't have to worry about currently being poisoned. Poison is still a thing to worry about. Hey, a pink gummy. We don't have any poison teammates, so. Hello. For some reason, I didn't see you there. So yeah, honestly, so long as we don't get... Ow. I wish there was, like, a quick way to handle partner AI. Blast Seed. No poisons. No poisons. But I guess for now I'll put Shane back on to hunt down enemies and just annihilate them. Once again, wish I could, like, say, within a certain radius. How dare you leer at me, you cactus man. Get out of here. 
I just remembered I don't have any max elixirs. I am severely underprepared for this dungeon. Unless maybe we don't run into any more, like, maybe we are a decent level for this, and I just are, am overestimating everything. I don't know. I fear. In constant fear. Save my moves for annihilating the poison types. And maybe Kecnia. Kecnia? The cactus of demon dreams. And uh, then I'll just throw a rock at you. Kill! I love the sound effects too in this game. They just have a nice feel to them. A nice audible texture. Hey, another power band. And... And a thing. Wonder what that is. Power band, special band, P.E.K.K.A. band. Two power bands. Hey, you want to join? I have a pink gummy right for you. Sure thing, dude. Huh. What name will I give you? Well, that's the first thing that comes to mind. So you shall be... Pink... With an exclamation point. And now you shall have this pink gummy. Throw. No, pink. You're supposed to eat it. God damn it. <laughs> Why is it so hard to just, like, hey, eat this? All I want you to do is... Eat it. And it's like, no, I'm gonna catch it instead. I'm an item catcher. Suppose you only eat if you aren't holding anything. Which I guess makes sense to a certain degree. But can also be kind of silly. We are trading tackles. Kick the birdie. I'm the one that's using sand attack. Yes, it feels like I am being sand attacked a lot. A lot of my moves are missing ever since I started using my sand. Ah, destination floor. Get back here. We have found you. Return home. With the magical power that is imbued in you. Do a bit of exploring, but we can only do so much exploring. Hello, Stantler Demon Man. Darn it, we're getting hungry. Get out! Get out of my way! I swear, I've missed more sand attacks than any move in this game. Kill! Don't kill Pink. <laughs> he is not the one that needs to die. We just got him. 
I guess we'll go ahead and eat one of our apples. And uh, since it's, we'll go ahead and speed through this because we didn't bring many apples. Sure, we are missing opportunity for items, but it was that the our. Uh, it might have just been a like a pidgey. Yep, there you are. Slack off. I thought I saw a, a yellow circle run by, but it's entirely possible that was just a Pidgeotto. I would like to continue my adventure. Hello, Gligor. How many moves do we have? We still have 13. I'm gonna play a bit safe because the final area, Mountain Peak, gets scary. And the words of Zapdos worry me. I wonder if Thunder Mountain and Thunder Mountain Peak have different... Like, things to them. Like... If you get a Thunder Mountain... If you get a Thunder Mountain mission, will it appear in Thunder Mountain Peak or what? Since they're technically different zones, but not really. Rock. Speed up the Electabuzz. Oh, critical hit. Nice. And a destination floor. Well, we can't leave. We have a destination floor to explore. Not exploring that way. God dang it. Enemy. Drawing away my ally. Don't go down that hole. Thank you, Shane. Get out of here. What are you doing here? Everything's on fire. We're all gonna die. Still think it's mean. That... The game auto places, yes, I would like to leave as the default. Considering that you're probably going to do a decent amount of just A spam to escape. The sand attack has come to bite me. Kill. An Orin Berry has been picked. Ow! Oh, dare you? The link box? Well, shit, now we're gonna have to find and kill you. What item is a link box? Well, wasn't that Stantler? Was it you? Give me your link box. I wanna know what the item is. What is a link box? Is it a thing that you can link items in the field with? A marvelous box that enables the user to link and delink moves. Linked moves become separated if their combined PP drops to zero. So yeah, it's just... You don't want to pay the link... The 200 pokey link fee. In which, if you go on any mission, you're going to easily find... About... Like, you're gonna find a lot of pokey just wandering around a dungeon. So it's just like, I forget, is this a destination floor? Or did we get Poochiana in here? I think we might have found Poochiana in here. So I don't think we have much to worry about. But still, we ate an apple. Let's explore one more room. Nope. Let's go. It's me, your short-term memory loss boss. How many missions do we have? I don't know. 
I say screw it and go to the end. It's not very efficient, but we're not here for efficiency. Yay. Now you have to deal with me. Shit. Ow. Well, that's not nice at all. Imagine if that hit the double howl meta. It is here to stifle creative ability of the world. Hello, Spiro. How many Spiros are just trapped here on Mount Thunder? No. Give me those. Drop those. They're mine. Yeah. The definition of which move can go around a corner and not is odd. I guess projectiles are the only ones that can. Wait. Yeah, we got Spear out. So yeah. Thunder Peak is completely separate. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's a yellow gummy and a heal seed. Thank you for rescuing Poochiana. A gray gummy. And lots of points. A Yanma. And a green gummy. We did it. We did good. And we got a new teammate that will probably forever stay in their friend's er friend area. Because we are very selective with who we bring with us. Do, 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 do. Let's look at our mail, put things away in Mrs. Kangaskhan's storage. See if there's a taunt from the Kesleon Kekleon bros. Linked moves, entry two. Fire and normal types. Tail whip and tackle. So yeah, I, I, I swear that we got these before. Two Thunder Wave Cave, but they're E rank. So they won't give us much. I want a Petrify Orb. Would give me a Reviver Seed, but I don't know if I have a Diddly D. We have four currently. Two Silent Chasm, one Mount Steel. So put things away. I'd like to store a bunch of my things. Uh, keep Gravel Rock, uh, Reviver Seed, P.E.K.K.A., Blast, Power Band, Power Band. Sell one of the Power Bands. Green, Max, uh, yeah, we'll, mm, we'll keep one Max Elixir with us because you never know. We might... <laughs> an emergency item. Completely forgot that Link Boxes were a thing. But yeah, is it Kesleon or Kekleon? Just a bunch of orbs. Alright, we're gonna put away our money because we're scared. Well, actually, let's see what the normal bro has to say. What are you selling? Apple, 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 reviver seed. But we have a decent amount of reviver seeds. I would like to store even more money in it. We shall see. One Mount Steel, two Silent Chasm, one Mount Thunder that we can't really do. Two Silent Chasms. There is a Mount Steel. Too tired to move. Thunder Wave Cave, two Tiny Woods. I guess we'll take you and see. Cause, oh yeah, petrify orb. I don't think we have a petrify orb in our for the mailbox mission. Hurry! Gravel rock plus.
200 plus. I'm gonna leave that hanging because I don't know when we're gonna get a taunt, and I want to keep the taunt because the only reason I'm keeping on to it is because I don't know when I'm going to get a taunt TM, and it gives a freaking friend area. So yeah, we have to wait for a signature story beat before we can go do anything else with the the dojo. So let's see. Check mail. Petrify orb. I also have two Thunder Wave caves that I could accept. And then there would be one Thunder Wave cave at the Deedly Dee. I'm gonna quickly check my boxes, see if I put away a Petrify orb. Nope, I don't want to store, I want to take out. These diddly dang fetch quests are getting ridiculous. Nope, no petrify orbs. No petrify orbs. So I guess we could take the two Thunder Wave caves and then do the other ones to make room in our mailbox. Okie doke, and then we can wait and see if we have more Mount Silver. Uh, yeah, Mount Steels. It's not Mount Silver. That would be a crossover of, the, of an age. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon actually takes place in Pokepocalyptic Generation 2 world. That's your game theory for the day. And we'll go ahead and accept the two Thunder Wave Caves. And uh, just get the Thunder Wave Caves out of our way and I guess we'll go ahead and bring Brock along as well since he's rock and can throw rocks at the enemy and then after this we'll probably continue the story because Mount Thunder is mostly just a marathon more than anything. I forgot how much of a bop this one is. And I think I forgot to stock up on apples. Luckily it's Mount Thunder, so maybe we'll find some apples in here. Just stock up on items. It's basically an item run. Out of the way. It's like we're Team Alakazam just strolling through Tiny Woods. Granted, Tiny Woods is basically... Anybody strolling through Tiny Woods after they level up like three times is basically that. Gather up orange berries. Love the music. I'm trying to think. What was the level that had just the super repetitive instrumentation that was drilling into my skull after a certain point? I think it might have been Sinister Woods. Because we haven't been back to Silent Chasm. So yeah, it had to be Silent Woods. Out of the way, Radita. That rock is mine. <laughs> This rock is mine! And this is just a loop. So out we go. How dare you! Do do. Oh, a destination floor. Yay. One nice thing about doing a bunch of missions for lower level... Well, dungeons. Is that they are nice and quick. At this point, I should really just sell all my blast seeds. Let's see what happens if I throw a blast seed at you. Blast seed. It's basically a rock. And my rocks stack. Blast seeds are worthless. They're basically something to use in dungeons. 
I have your evolved form. I don't need you. Well, I have a Nido that is evolved, so I really don't need you. In fact, having a lower level, okay, you can join. I initially wanted to call you Surge, but I guess I'll save that if we ever get a Raichu. You will be called... Ah, screw it. Let's be unoriginal. You're Ball. You are Ball. Now and forever. Ball. Okay, you're just hoarding Orenberries, Houndour. Get out of here. Imbue you with magic. Go home. But yeah, blast seeds are worthless. They do... I guess it also depends on, like, the Pokemon, so maybe throwing it at a grass type would do more damage. Oh, well, this is a slam dunk. Somebody has an apple. Somebody has an apple, and I'm gonna come get it, because uh, I ate an apple on my last mission, and I want to be apple positive. Let me guess. Blast Seed. Sleep Seed. That might be nice, actually. I might want to carry around a Sleep Seed when we're doing story missions so that if we run into a boss fight, I can uh, sleep someone. That sounds like a good idea. So yeah, note to self. Sleep Seed might be something useful. Blast Seed, it's basically just a worse rock at this rate, because even if the damage scales to some degree, Blast Seed would... S you just spawned in. You just spawned in, you, you rotten little bastard baby. Spawned into the corner? Or is that to imply that we just missed him? Blast Seed. Blasted Seed. Where's the Apple Hoarder? The Apple Hoarder must die. We must find the apple. Well, they went to murder. Did it drop an apple? Nope. Go find the enemy. Somebody has an apple, and I want it. But I can't spend too long looking for the apple, because... Then we'll just want to eat an apple. Darn it. The apple has escaped! Well, there is Apple there. Yay. Apple is in custody. Blasted Blast Seed. Oh, yeah, because I think I got distracted from talking about why Blast Seeds are worthless. Mostly due to the fact that they don't stack, and even if the damage scaled, I don't think it would be all that worth it. Because it would have to do hefty damage. It would just have to do insane amounts of damage to really be worth it. Worth it. Else it would basically just be a tiddly -dee. Hello there, Mario LC. Thank you very much for the raid. How are you doing this day? Right now, we are playing more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon because I am obsessed with it. Get out of here, Blast Seed. You're a worthless bloody thing. Quite honestly, probably, aside from, like, a uh, plain seed, probably the worst thing in the game. I forget. Is that all my missions? I don't know. Very hard wasn't that bad this time. I actually got through the mission in only about 48 minutes. I did all the three mini missions. Nice. I probably should get around to uh, see how much, like, uh... I hate that they just spawn in at random. But try some... Har uh, very hard... In retro... Uh, replay missions in Age of Calamity on very hard. There we go. Got my bloody thought across. But right now I'm just chilling out with the amazing chill vibes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. We beat up the dojo. I thought the dojo was going to be hard. 
No. Not at all. Granted, the hardest part is the fact that I can't even complete the damn thing. Because not all the missions are available to me. I have been scammed. I wanted an award for beating all of the dojo mazes. But lo and behold, I have been tricked. I have been tricked and trapped. And now we'll probably continue the story because now it's mostly just a bunch of missions and stuff and I'll have to remember to take a good amount of items with me. Probably three reviver seeds, three apples, two orange berries. Which is basically half the toolbox, but I'm paranoid. After that one scuff with... Just... Uh, fear. Nightmare, nightmare. Fear and nightmare. Let us check the mail and see if the Rescue Society has anything to say. Pull! Top two items. But linked moves in tree f three. Things that I don't care about at all. And then top two items. First, Gravel Rock. Second, Orenberry. In a nationwide survey, which basically is just me, I guess, because those are my most used items. Involving rescue teams, the most popular item was found to be Gravel Rocks. According to Suda Widow of Team Fakers, it lets you attack from far away. It's invaluable. The next most popular item was Orenberries. So either everyone is me or I am everyone. And thank you for the follow, Esper. Gabe put things away at Mrs. Kangaskhan's storage so that we can have a nice... Oh yeah, I forgot I was going to sell a power band. Eh, screw it. I, I can sell a power band whenever I want. And put away... Let's see... How many apples? I'll need to pull more apples out. Need to pull more apples out. Because we're going on another story mission. We'll definitely take a max elixir with us so we can just spam attacks and uh, we will take out an apple and see diddly dee. Quickly check uh, the Kesslyon bros. Do you have taunt so I can earn a friend zone? Nope. Not even a petrify orb. Granted, even then, I don't think it would be that important. I shall store away my money. No, no, no. I, I want to store away my money. I'll have so much money to buy, like, three <laughs> friend areas once Wigglytuff gets more. And I'm not even going to bother checking, because he does. Uh, I'm sure he'll tell us if he has more. Sinister Woods. Do I have Sinister Woods? Nope, Silent Chasms. And just Mount Thunders. Three Mount Thunders, and then I only have... I guess gra grabbing these three Mount Thunders will be pretty good. <laughs> Save my child! Find Weedle. And they're all just, uh, well, there is a black gummy in it for me. The rewards. Uh-huh. Two Mount Steel, two Silent Chasms. Honestly, I'm thinking of just doing the Sinister Woods because it would be shorter, I think. Well, actually, yeah, I think that would be shorter. <laughs> Are you going to stream this every day? Only how I feel like it because I need to get... Kingdom Hearts to a certain point before I can stream that again and do the super bosses and continue the story or continue the story and then do the super bosses depending on how things check out and then let me check my items before we go two apples I want to bring an extra apple I'm going to bring an extra apple but yeah, I just love this game, so it'll predominantly take up... It's basically, if I don't know what to do, just stream this. As I get Kingdom Hearts into ship shape to properly complete, and then eventually, one of these days, 
Age of Calamity will be back on the menu, boys. To the Great Canyon! It's all going with the flowing and how it feels it should go. This is the Great Canyon. The peak is called the Hill of the Ancients. According to Alakazam, the Hill of the Ancients is on 13th floor. Zatu should be there. Neon, let's do our best. For once, we do it for us. Love the music. Well, that's not a good sign. Well, that is a good sign. Beat him up. Love the music in this game. Love it to death. Well, that's not very nice at all. You're now on my hit list. Any move that's like, ah, poison, is... And any Pokemon that knows, ah, poison, is immediately on my kill on sight. You instantly use move. Hello, Fanpy. Die. Alright, that's enough exploring of these areas. We must escape. Yeah, sure, go kill that Fanpy. I'm gonna leave. Before the poison overtakes me. So I don't waste an Orin Berry. Well, we're gonna have to kill us a Dunsparce. Of course, the one place I'd go first would be the dead end. You look bug-like, so you shall die. But it wasn't the Dunsparce of money. This is probably the one of the money. Beat him up! Throw a rock at him! Nope. Hmm. Here, Dunsparce, Dunsparce of 200 monies. We're not gonna hurt you. We're just trying to be friendly. Clear gummy. Maybe this is the normal gummy. Info? Ice type. <laughs> well, that, that was an impressive animation, but you're still gonna die. And we're gonna take your money. Beat up the bird. Well, uh, I probably should have... Yeah, finish it off. <laughs> probably, the moment I saw Pursuit, I should have went, Ow, I should probably use an instant kill. Let... You rotten bastard. Grab an orange berry for the road. And beeline it to the exit. Because diddly dab, jump up. Or hip hop, or whatever its name is. Don't let them get too close. Kill them all! You're just opening yourself up to the counter attack. Kill it in one move. Now this fan pee, this fan pee we can torment. Because it doesn't have a counter move currently active. So therefore, it shall die. Ah, another only six pokey. Never mind, this is quite the poor dumb sparse. <laughs> six, ten, two hundred and eighteen. That's a distribution of wealth that is fitting of capitalism. Another dead end. Let's explore a bit. See if we can find any nice items. Enraged over what, small bug thingy? Enraged over what, your plot in life? I'm gonna let you come to me so I can annihilate you. And remember to stay hydrated. Hydration is very important when you go uh, mountaineering. Or when you go on a uh, road to self-discovery to the mountains. Or when you get into a fight in the mountains while you're looking for self-discovery. Water is very important. But you can't just drink any water. 
That water right there, it's probably still water. You can't drink that. It probably has worms. You need to bring your own sanitized water. Because that's just how society is. See this doo-doo-o? Probably drank some worms. And that's why it's dead now. Never mind its broken beaks and uh, skull fractures. I'm fairly certain that that is just uh, the strength of mountain worms. Kill. I'm not giving... Uh, at the same time, we were leaving anyway, so if you poisoned me, it wouldn't have done that much, but... Eh. Eh. Oh, hey, we haven't seen you all in a bit. You're the evolved mushroom man. At least, thank God, paralysis isn't a permanent thing in during floors of the dungeon. You'd think poison would just work its way out of the system eventually. Oh, more mountain money. We're getting hungry. And that's why we brought apples. Orange gummy. I think that's a fighting gummy. Good thing we didn't let this guy get his gummy. It would have made him smarter. Which then it would have made him want to join our team because he was smart to join our team. But we can't have that because we only have so many apples to go around. Thank you for uh, stealing my, uh, my, my place as leader, Shane. I'm going to have to throw rocks from behind. I'm artillery now. A bit more exploration, just in case. Getting dizzy from hunger. And that's why we can't share our apples. The apples are for mean. Mean alone. And of course, my buddy Shane. Ah, shit. Okay, it has stun spore, so hopefully it doesn't have poison as well. Yes, use Mega Drain on the, the water type. Uh, not water type, the grass type. This, this, that would be the weirdest day when a water type looks like a grass type. Granted, it, it probably exists out there. What do I know? I'm, uh, I still can't get over the fact that Ghost can affect normal types in Generation 2. I'm a very silly person. My knowledge of Pokemon. Was that the evolved Kecnia? Yep. Kecturn. Do not seed, my friend. He does not need pollination. Ooh, Screech. All things considered, that's kind of better than Pursuit. But at the same time, Pursuit would be kind of decent if we went up against hard-hitting enemies. Mm. Info. Sharply lowers target defense. Cuts corners. Ah, that's actually a thing. They actually tell you when a thing cuts corners. That's nice to know. Well, now the question is, what would I even want to get rid of? Because quick attack is nice. It goes two things. Pound is nice as just an all-rounder. But at the same time, we could link it to pound. And it would be kind of nice to just... Yeah, we're getting rid of Pursuit. We can always learn it again. Gulpin Shop is nice. Gulpin's remembering shop is really nice. And you can remember things there, so... We don't really need to tear our hair out about forgetting attacks as much as we once did in the world of Pokemon actually playing the games. But yeah. Linking, Screech, and Pound. That's gonna be a kill. <laughs> See Poison King. Uh, Poison King. See Poison Sting. I kill. Congratulations, you only recovered four health. It didn't even get an extra hit in. And, uh, because 
I think we have, uh, six more floors to go. Let's not, uh, risk our apple economy. We can't risk the apple economy. Kill him! Kill him now! Kill the cactus that looks like a man. <gasps> Facade. Well, at least we have another TM that we can add to our... Maybe... Deliver someday. Yeah, shit. My brain was just like, maybe it'll die. And then it didn't. Oh, hey! It's a hoot knocked out, man. Kill the mushroom. Kill the owl. Decimate the local populace. What's a mushroom doing in a mountain? What's an owl doing in a mountain? What is the natural habitat of owls besides forests and plains? I do not know. Go ahead and poison me here. I don't care. The exit's right there. Hello, Hoot Hoot Owl Man. You'll forever be Hoot Hoot. Forever Hoot Hoot. It is more iconic than you, at least in name. Well, time to kill you on maximum overdrive. Die. Imagine if it did damage anyway. That would be mean. It would be like... freaking. Maybe I should... Revenge. Uh, you scare me, moves. Because... I guess, while talking about mean game mechanics... Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh scares me sometimes. Like, I thought, oh, playing the single-player scenarios will totally be less stress-inducing than playing against human beings. And then the frickin' people who made the scenario put together a deck that can single-turn kill you on the second turn. And it, the only reason that I can't kill you on the first turn is because you can't attack on the first turn. <laughs> Granted, technically, it is the first turn for the player that goes second. But semantics. I still haven't beaten that one. I beat that, uh, that scenario with my own deck, which is made of crystal beasts. Yay. But... Using the loner deck is absolute nightmare. Because it's just so many things of I'm going to summon th like six monsters on my first turn and have three out by the end of my turn that will kill you. It's just like, why? Why do you exist? And all the 55 billion cards that have effects from the graveyard. I thought the graveyard was supposed to be a place of the dead. And then it's just like, well, actually, nothing ever stays dead. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh would probably be a lot better if there was like a limit on like a hard limit on certain actions. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm not a designer of card-based gameplay. But I just feel like there's a better way of balancing the game. And not to mention that since I've been playing the Yu-Gi-Oh! free-to-play game, I was watching a Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber go over some banned cards. And apparently one of the cards that was in the scenario that I'm currently stuck on is banned in the trading card game. And also, apparently, the online card game and the trading card game have different ban lists. I don't quite get that one. Also, it's kind of sad when you realize that... ...the Egyptian god cards from the anime, the OMG, they're so powerful... ...don't even seem to hold a candle to some of these nightmare cards of evil.
stored energy to his death. Honestly, if he let loose the damage and annihilated me, I would have respected it more than anything. But yeah. Yu-Gi-Oh! is a game that I do hold a, a special place in my heart, but is also just very, very frustrating. Granted, I haven't kept up with it, and the last time that I was even remotely aware of things in Yu-Gi-Oh! was around the days of 5Ds and Synchro Summoning and Tuner Monsters. Then they added Pendulums and XYZs. And just all this other madness. And I have no idea what it's all about. Granted, again, I run the Crystal Beast deck, and basically if I have an arbitrary number of monsters in the field, and like on the field, and in my graveyard, and in my hand, and a certain trap card, I can just instantly summon a 4,000 attack point monster onto the field. But it's just like... Come on! That requires setup. These monstrosities are like, then I put five billion cards in my graveyard. Then I punch a small child. Which allows me to summon bim bobbly bim -ba -bim, Which will wreck your house and I'll g be the one to collect the insurance money. That is modern Yu-Gi-Oh, and I hate it. <laughs> there needs to be some kind of Hearthstone move economy for the frickin' graveyard. No, you cannot do this. Or at least certain things, like, you can do this thing, but you can't, like, attack with it this turn that you summon it. Especially because the stinking scenario deck is like, ah, I'm gonna destroy your trap card. Ah, I'm gonna do this. Ah, I'm gonna do that. Hey, Aerial Ace. It's just giving me everything. Is there any, um, seeds that I don't care about? I guess I'll get rid of the Rostberry. Goodbye, Rostberry. But yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh! is fun when you can actually play it. What's also annoying is that the AI takes so frickin' long to do its turn. It's just aggravating. Because, like, yes, okay, fine, you're gonna do your stupid bullshit combo of Oblivion. Can you please at least instantly do it? I don't need to just watch you. Do it five billion... Five billion moves with a three-card deck that's going to lead to my demise. I don't care, just get on with it. Monty Python, get on with it. If you're going to kill me, at least make it expedient. I don't want to sit there for like three minutes as the AI is like, hmm, however will I resolve this function that I was built to do. It's one thing for people to build their decks and take a bit of time to try and resolve their combos, but it's the frickin' AI. I should not have to spend minutes of my life waiting for the AI to comprehend its moves. It just, it is just aggro. Will you stop it? Picked up, stepped on, picked up, step on. Stop! My telepathy is getting in the way of my combat. But maybe it's just me wanting to run a kind of, kind of a simple gimmick deck of I get to summon things, and then my monsters can be spell cards, and they just exist there. And then other cards can do other things with them in their spell slot form. But it's just, it hurts. When these people are like, I can destroy your cards and your, that's another thing. I swear that the scenario AI that I'm currently trying to beat with the loner deck is cheating because 
far too often have I either gone first or second and managed to either wipe their field of monsters, which doesn't really matter because their entire shtick is <laughs> graveyard, and so... But... Then I'll summon, I'll be, be like, yay, now I can do a variation of the gimmick, because that is the scenario. And then the game is mean and goes, well, actually, the AI has this super limited, only one allowed in your deck card. And it's just going to annihilate your entire setup now. And it's happened super early into the match every single time I have advantage. Hate the AI. The AI is evil. The AI is monstrous. Is vile. I probably should have brought a lot more apples. At least with Pokemon, it's simple. Well, then again, I've never played the Pokemon trading card game, so maybe it's crazy. But normal Pokemon, sure, it can be a bit wonky, a bit mad. A special band. That can be sold for money. Be gone! Oh, I can swap. I don't need to throw it. Ah, sure, let's go kill it. Kill it, my boy! Ah, level up time! Woot woot! Level ups all around! I still find it funny that we basically mirror our own- our stats to each other. Ooh, Hill of the Ancients! I thought we were gonna have to go a bit further. Yes! We finally made it to the top, Neon! This is the Hill of the Ancients. Look! Over there! Neon, is that Zatu over there? I don't know. This me has never seen a Zatu before. Excuse me, are you maybe Zatu? Hello? Maybe he doesn't hear me. Hello! <laughs> Hello! It's useless. He's not responding at all. Maybe he's sleeping while on his feet? Huh. Let's... Neon, what should we do? Well, we, attacking him would just be rude, so let's tickle him. Huh? Tickle him? Okay, it's worth a try. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> tickle, 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 tickle. Completely stoic. Ugh. <sighs> Uh, it's no good. He's not responding. Huh? <laughs> A delayed reaction. <laughs> he is finally laughing now. Is he just dense? He <laughs> no he yelled. Witness it, the sinking of the sun. Indeed, I am Zatu. You discerned my true identity. You are not an ordinary sort. Guessed your identity? That's a bit much. No, I can tell this. You there. You are no ordinary Pokemon. You are human, yes? Hello there, Taylor Plays. Welcome to the chat. Huh? How can you tell that? All day, I stare at the sun, unblinking. It gives me sight for all things. Or maybe just destroys your eyes. Honestly, probably just destroys your eyes. I would rather, I, I would rather wager. The past and the future, too. If you know, please tell us, Zatu. Next, my friend is my. Next to me is my friend Neon. My friend woke up one morning as a Pokemon, and without any memory, as a human. 
Well, technically, I had memory of being a human to be able to say, Oh my god, I'm a Pokemon, so... Uh -huh. Zatu, can you tell... You can tell, can't you? Please, tell us. The calamities of nature. There have been many in recent times. They occur because the world's balance is upset. And you're becoming a Pokemon. They are tied together. Inseparably so. Wait. Neon becoming a Pokemon and the natural disasters are related? What do you mean? What does Neon have to do with the natural disasters we've been seeing? What is it? Why did you climb up? Please tell us, please! There are bigger concerns, I am afraid. The world's balance, it must be restored. Or the unthinkable shall befall our world. Huh? You're serious? The world, the unthinkable is coming? Every day I see it. The same future. Every day. I dread it. Z that too. I fear it. The world's destruction. The world's destruction? How the hell did you get here? How'd you even know to come here? You stalker man. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? That Neon was a human. That's going to be useful. This should be interesting. <laughs> Rotten bastard man. We didn't even get anything useful after out of Zatu. And now comes that part of the story. Unless it's going to lull me into a false sense of security. It's been so long since I played, the question remains. Will it happen instantly? Or will it only happen after a bit? <laughs> I love your voice acting. I'm actually doing my first ever fandom on my YouTube channel for Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Sweet! Thank you very much. That's one of the reasons I really like this game. There's a lot of character. I love characters. And doing voices, so it's nice. I can't wait to eventually play up through my Poke Marathon and eventually get to Rescue Team DX. So that way there's enough time between me playing this one and then that one to be like, I can enjoy it as its own thing while pointing out the interesting things that I see as different. At least if I eventually get to it. Time might be cruel. Only time will tell. Good morning. Let's keep on doing good. Actually, I want to ask you something. What, what do you think about what Zatu said yesterday? Does it bother you? A bit, yes. Having anybody say, yes, the circumstances of your existence and the world's destruction are linked. That's never nice. Yes, I guess you would be concerned too. There's supposed to be a link between the world's balance being upset and how you became a Pokemon. And because of the world's upset balance, natural disasters have been occurring. And more than anything, he said that the world would be ruined if the balance isn't restored. I want to do something, but there's something I don't understand. So, uh, the world's balance. What is it? Neon, do you know what the world's balance is? Don't know. Okay, guess so. You wouldn't know. Can't imagine what the world's balance is about. To be honest, I don't know what we should do. I guess we'll just have to do what we can. One thing at a time. No mail. Will it happen now or will it happen later? Story now or story later? Well, the jump bluffs have moved. Hmm. Well, no storing for us. Oh no! Huh? What are they chatting about? Yeah, I'm kind of shocked. I always thought it was only a legend. But could it be true? I'm having a hard time believing it. I still can't decide on a good voice for Shubble. Snubble? One of them. Mainly because it's like, Shubble, from the anime. So I'm just like, I want that, that kind of inflection. Hi, what's happening? Well, you know the legend of the Ninetales? That old story? The Ninetales legend? What's that? What? You don't know. You know, it's that old fairy tale. Hilarious, considering the fairy type didn't exist yet. <laughs> How you'll get cursed if you ever grab one of Ninetales' tales. All this time, everyone thought it was just a legend. But lately, it's been rumored that maybe it really happened. Well, it's still a mere rumor. 
I wouldn't put too much stock in that story if I were you. Personally, I don't believe in rumors of that sort. If you want to know more about the Ninetales legend, you should go see a Pokemon named Wishcash. He knows the story well. Wishcash is, uh, you know, in his pond. The Wishcash pond. We've been there. We talked to Caterpie in front of the pond. You should visit him if you want to know more. Any new friend groups? My dude? Wiggly tough boy? Nope. Alright. Now we're gonna put away our items. Especially our TMs. Because the game was nice and gave us TMs. They're not the TMs that we're looking for. But still. Okay, we're going to put in all... We're going to need to take out apples. We're going to need to take out so many apples. So many apples. Because now I'm in paranoia mode. When the story will strike. Because the story can sometimes strike out of nowhere. At least two apples. And then beg to God that we get a decent amount of apples in, in Diddly D. Alright, do you have a taunt? Do you have taunt TM? So I can get my free diddly desert and tract. Darn you, Kesleon! What do you have? Normal man? Apples, big apples, blast seed. That is so overpriced for a blast seed. The rocks are better than a blast seed! Hmm. Let's read up on Big Apples again, food on the amp amply fills Pokemon's belly. Eating this when its belly is full will slightly enlarge belly size. I have lots of money, I might as well start buying up Big Apples as well. Just in case. And then I'll put away the Big Apples. I shall put away New York! My brain is moving too fast for my fingers. The big apples shall be put away. And let me see anything else. Reviver, reviver, to uh, we can put away that extra orinberry so that we can actually gather things. I'm gonna quickly check and see. Yo, Dojo, any new mazes? Can I do the fire maze yet? Can I beat up your fire maze? Nope. I don't remember doing the dojo years and years and years ago, so I don't know how it functions. Oh yeah, we can, we can, uh, we can, diddly dee, diddly dee. Let's see. How do I? How do I move? It. This isn't the moving. I guess I can't move it from that menu. Yo, Gulpin, I want to link a move, but it won't move for me. Shane moves. Okay, that's a bit weird. Screech above pound. We don't want to really link anything else because they have varying power points, so... Link these! Booyah. We shall not go on, but thank you for your aid, Gulpin. We'll go ahead and uh, put away our money, our vast amounts of money, so that Wigglytuff can bankrupt us in the future. Well, uh, I guess let's see if anybody has any other flavor text. Well, it's still a mere rumor. Don't put any stock in that. I always thought it was only a legend. Wish cash in his pond. Yep, yep. Alrighty. Time for fear! Wishcast told us folklore from long ago. It was fun. The folklore was fun and interesting. Wishcash is very wise. Hey, Wishcash, decide my fate! Ho ho ho. You wish to hear me tell old folklore. What was that? You wish to hear the Ninetales legend? This is basically them confirming story is going to happen! Ah! <laughs> Oh, it's gonna punch me. It's gonna punch me hard. But let's hear it. Seal my fate, my dude. Ho ho ho. Fine then. Let me recount the tale. There once lived a Pokemon by the name of Ninetales. Now Ninetales had many tales, all of them imbued with psychic magic. It was said that anyone so foolish as to touch a tail would be cursed for a thousand years. 
but there was someone so foolish as to grab a tail, and it was a human. A human? Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a thousand-year curse. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the, the, shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take that human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Okay. But humans, aren't there good humans and bad ones too? Correct. Taking pity on Gardevoir, Ninetales asked the human this. Do you wish to save Gardevoir, it asked. But the human had already abandoned Gardevoir and fled. Ninetales became disillusioned with the human, and it made this prediction. That human will one day be reborn as a Pokemon. What? A human turned into a Pokemon? And when the human becomes a Pokemon, the world's balance will be upset. And that is how the legend ends. Well, did you find it interesting? More like, uh, absolutely terrifying. <laughs> you found it so interesting you're at a loss for words. Ho ho ho. There's no need to wear such a serious expression. Certainly, some rumors say that the legend may actually be true. But it is only ancient folklore. Nothing more. My dude, you are way too optimistic. If you feel the urge to hear my tale again, come see me. Ho, 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 ho. Well, onwards to fear. Onwards to doom. Hey, Shane, we cannot talk. Will the story unravel our souls? Okay, good. It is not unraveling our souls just yet. The gut punching takes place later, it seems. Let's see. Oh, yeah, we have uh, a full foot of a. We have uh, two silent chasms, two sinister, well, three sinister woods, and two Mount Steels. And I'm not getting rid of that Mount Thunter because it's going to give me a friend area once I eventually find a taunt. Well, let's see. Uh, one sinister woods, three Mount Thunders. Uh huh. I'll probably. D -d 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 We have, uh, wait. Sinister Woods. Yeah, three Sinister Woods. I just want to make sure. Because at one point, I misread Silent Chasm and Sinister Woods as, like, uh, Oh, Sinister Woods, and this one begins with an S and an I, too. That means they're the same place. Woo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Brain was stupid that day. Well, let's see. Uh, do we want to annihilate anything? I guess... I could take that Sinister Woods and have a four Sinister Woods run. So... Da -da -da. I guess I'll get rid of the Please Help Puchiana because the reward is just a heal seed. Honestly, I wish I could just take all of the missions and do them in order, but the game is rude and it's like, oh, you have to decide. The game is mean. So yeah, we'll get rid of this Silent Chasm one. Because game is mean and take the Sinister Woods. And then we'll go do... We'll have to take an Escape Orb with us. I think I have an Escape Orb. I should, I should. And we'll do a four mission run. Ah! Story is going to gut punch me. Do I have an escape orbital? I have two escape orbital, but I only need one. Thank you, Mrs. Kangaskhan. You are the only kind soul in the universe. Say, Neon, want to call it a day now? I can't seem to get motivated today. Well, there goes my plans. Oh, no. I'm sorry for wanting to go home before we're done. I just can't seem to get motivated. I guess it's because I heard that story. <laughs> I'll go home and try to get some sleep. 
I'll see you tomorrow. Don't you abandon me, my friend. Neon, sorry. I started doubting you a little, Neon. But I'm not going to worry anymore. I believe in you, Neon. Because you're a friend like no other, Neon. You're a friend like I'd never get again. Okay. Let's do our best tomorrow like always. Well, there was a mini gut punch. Uh-oh, we're gonna have a nightmare again. Fear. Fear. Again. It's that dream again. I always see this silhouette. Who could it be? Oh? It's saying something, but I can't quite make it out. It's clearer than it was before, but I'll try talking to it. Hello. Please tell me. You... Who are you? I am... I am Gardevoir. G gardevoir I'm so glad. Finally. I finally got to meet you. Finally met me? You knew me from before? What about me? I am your... Oh, wait! Just a little longer! I want to know more! Oh, it's fading. Another gut punch to the gut. God damn it. What a strange dream. It's the dream I always have, but it was clearer than it was before. I think I finally learned who that Pokemon was. That's it! Gardevoir! It was Gardevoir! Yesterday, Wishcash said... Like I said, really is an anime. Instant flashbacks. Yes, a human. As one might expect, the human that grabbed the tail was subjected to a curse of a thousand years. However, just when the curse was cast, a Pokemon named Gardevoir shielded the human and sacrificed herself to absorb the curse. Why? Why would that Pokemon Gardevoir take the human's place? To Gardevoir, that human was her partner. There exist strong bonds between humans and Pokemon. Maybe, maybe I, maybe I was the human who was Gardevoir's partner. Maybe I was the one that abandoned Gardevoir when she was cursed. Maybe that's why I turned into a Pokemon. I was going to say, if the music didn't come back in, <laughs> then it'd be like, oh, pain. Morning, Neon. Oh, you look pale. How can you tell? I have fur. Is something the matter? Well, anyway, as always, let's try to do our best. Oh, yeah! When I was on the way here, I think there was a commotion at Pokemon Square. I wonder if something happened. Oh! <laughs> I mean, if I really wanted to, I could just go on a mission, I think. I think I could just go on a mission. Can we just go on a mission? We can! But well, then that would fill up my items, and I'm not sure. I am full of fear. What even is an escape orb? Allows the rescue to escape from a dungeon. Well, fun. Let us go mon march our way to the gut punch machine. Looks like a ghost town now. Huh? The town's atmosphere feels different somehow. Maybe something's happened. Neon, let's check it out. Look, why is everyone gathered together? Hi, what's going on? Let me tell you, I was amazed. It really was true. What was true? What was true? The Nine Tails legend. I never believed the rumors, so you can bet I was shocked to learn the truth. Neon, Shane. Oh, hi, Caterpie. Even you came out, Caterpie? Yes. Shush, quiet. What guy there is telling us to keep it down? Huh? Who's talking? It's... The Bastard. G Gengar? 
So I went up to the Hill of the Ancients, and that's where I saw it. It was shocking stuff, I tell you. <laughs> shocking stuff. This certain Pokemon was getting advice from Zatu. That Pokemon, it looks like an ordinary Pokemon. But get this! It was originally a human! What? It really existed. A human that turned into a Pokemon? There's more. Zatu told that human that how the human became a Pokemon has a lot to do with how the world's balance is upset. Wait a second. That's exactly like the Ninetales legend. <laughs> Don't be too shocked yet. There's more. You all know how there have been many natural disasters, correct? According to Zatu, those disasters are caused by the world's balance being upset. And if the world's balance isn't restored soon, the unthinkable will happen to the world! That's what Zatu said! <laughs> what? The world? The unthinkable's going to happen? What are we going to do? That Gengar? He's deliberately working everyone up! Now, now, people. There's no need to panic. Why, well, I think there's a way we can do something about this. <laughs> Well, what can we do? Oh, it's quite simple, actually. If the world's balance is upset by a human becoming a Pokemon, then if that human is gone, then everything should return to normal. Correct? That's true. When you put it that way, maybe you're right. <laughs> and that human is the rot. Coward that abandoned Gardevoir! Correct. I don't think the human can complain about anything if we get rid of it. Isn't that right, Neon? What? What? It, it can't be! Y you You are that human? Is that true? Hey! W wait! This is like, there's a good explanation for We're not asking you, we're asking Neon! Hey, Neon! So what is it? Are you really the human that was in the legend? And the answer is, we don't know that. <laughs> there is no definitive, well, everything right now is pointing to that. But hey, who believes dreams anyway? Neon. Neon. <laughs> Looks like you have nothing to say in your defense, Neon. That's how it is, fellow Pokemon. Let's get rid of Neon and regain peace. <laughs> what? Everyone, what's gotten into you? What are you going to do? Neon, forgive me. We could just beat everyone up. We're that powerful. And then when everyone's clear their heads from being knocked out, we can talk this out. What? Ah, what are you doing? Ah, run! Serves them right. <laughs> well, that was a real shock. I never expected everyone to attack us like that. But listen, Neon. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you argue that it's not you? Because I have had a dream. You should have said you're not the human that appears in the legend. Listen, Shane. In, huh? What is it? Yeah. All right. In character, we are believing that the legend happened and that we have a dream connected to a Gardevoir. So in character of not knowing, in this case, me in universe would want to spare Shane pain. So, want to end the team? W what's the matter? What makes you say that all of a sudden? Give up on our rescue team? It's not like you say it's not like you to say that, Neon. Is something the matter? I had a dream. There was a Gardevoir. Things ain't looking good. Huh? You had a dream? And Gardevoir appeared in it? And that made you think that maybe you were the human after all. So that's what it is. That's what happened. Listen, Neon. Did your dream make you remember what you were like as a human being? Since it didn't, you don't know what really happened. I... I have faith in you, Neon. You know that? So... 
Oh. After the scene in Pokemon Square, we held a town meeting on what must we must do to save the world. And we arrived at a consensus. We must get rid of you. You're kidding! I was incredulous too. I had hoped it would not come to this, but... It is unfortunate. We will... Defeat you with all our might. We're fighting here? We will give you tonight. Huh? Pack your supplies and get out of here. Come tomorrow, rescue teams of all sorts will take up the chase. And attack you without hesitation. And not just you. Anyone that goes with Neon will be considered an enemy. The trackers will attack without mercy. And that goes for us too. We will join the hunt to be rid of you. Against all odds, you must run. 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 And survive. You must run until you recover the truth. Alakazam. There will be no mercy the next time we meet. Farewell. Neon. In their own way, Alakazam's team has faith in you too. Didn't I say this before? I'm not going to worry anymore. Whatever happens, I'll always have faith in you, Neon. Even if we're attacked by other rescue teams, I won't be scared. What good will it do if you don't believe in yourself, Neon? I imagine Gengar is a female, and it really paid off on my solo roleplay series on Rescue Team DX. That would probably help. For me, it's just like, what kind of sneaky personality, with this sneaky personality, what kind of voice would I give Gengar? And that's kind of the beauty of this kind of game, where you can kind of put your own kind of spin on characters. Because there's no voice acting, and a lot of things are ambiguous about the characters here and there, so... You can just kind of do whatever you want with your characters and make a thing of it. It's, it's really fun. Neon. Caterpie. Neon, I made a promise, remember? That we would make a rescue team base here. That I would join your rescue team when I grew up. Neon, don't give up. You're a hero to me, Neon. I believe in you, too. So, what do you say, Neon? Okay. I won't give up. Yeah, that's right. That's more like it. That's what we expect from our Neon. We'll have to leave for the time being. Well, let's be sure to come back. And we'll bring the truth back with us. The Next Dawn. Morning, Neon. It's early, but of course you'd be up by now. Are you ready to leave? We have an escape orb, but... bibbidi bobbidi boo bibbidi bobbidi boo Let's go. Yep. Looks like we're all ready. From now on, we're fugitives. This is going to be a dangerous trip, and I don't want to get our team members involved. Let's not tell them. We'll just leave by ourselves. We have to get away from the rescue teams hunting us. We have to get away at all cost. Yes, we have to escape. Like Alakazam said, Oh, the song! Said that time. Way, run away, run away and stay with me. Run away, run away. Maybe someday we'll be free. Against all odds, you must run. 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 And survive. You must run till you uncover the truth. Who am I? Until I discover that truth, I have to run and survive. Even if it means going to the edge of this world. Okay. Let's get going. 
Caterpie, and Metapod too. Don't even jump Pluff. Wow, I'm glad we made it. We wanted to see you off, Neon. Me too. A Diglett. Good morning, it's me, Diglett. I wanted to send you off too. Everyone. It's a letter. Neon, can you read it? Neon began reading the letter. Take care. It's farewell, but only for now. Until the day I can deliver mail to you again, I'll always be waiting. The wandering postal carrier, Pelipper. Even Pelipper. Everyone, thank you. The other Pokemon will be waking up soon. You have to go. Hurry. Yep. Neon, let's go. Hit the road. Take care. We'll be waiting for both of you to return. Yep. Thank you. We'll be back. That's for sure. Take care until then. Thus began Neon's cruel and arduous journey as a fugitive over forbidden mountains. Whoa! Aren't these fissures amazing? Across fields of fire. The environment is out of control here, too. Forest fire is still raging. But throughout it all, Neon's team kept their heads held high. Without a complaint, they marched on. The one thing I wish that would have been is like if we actually kind of played through that, played through the fissure, played through the fields of fire, and actually had to fight rescue teams. If... Like, if Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue and Red Rescue Team had a bigger budget, or like, I don't know, maybe they didn't want to do that much because they felt it would break up the flow of the game where you actually accept rescue missions and you go do things. But if there was a section where you actually played, like, a handful of le levels, a handful of levels and actually had to fight rescue teams that were built up throughout the rest of the, the beginning of the game. Like, imagine having to fight Shift Tree. And then another team, and it's like, characters that you know, and you have to fight them. And there's like a little bit of character stuff, like, ooh! The gut punch would have been amazing. <sighs> We've sure traveled a long way. It's been like three paragraphs. But while we're moving, I couldn't help thinking. All sorts of places have been affected by the natural disasters. I'm sure many Pokemon are suffering because of the calamities. I wish we could we could get back to doing our rescue work. Sorry, I shouldn't complain. We have to get away from now, period. Huh? I hear voices. I think they went this way. They can't get away. Not from all of us. We must get rid of Neon quickly. Oh no! Are they catching up to us? Neon, we better go. We didn't even get to interact with the... The Kangaskhan statue. Let's see how... Well, I was gonna say, let's see how beefy a Zubat that was. But yep. Yep, this tears at the soul. At least this doesn't seem to be that big a dungeon. So they're kind of giving you a bit of a break. Honestly, this is kind of Thunderwave Cave level of things. I'll go ahead and throw a rock, because I have tons of rocks. A Ninkada. Fight me, Ninkada. To the death. Yeah, but I think we did a decent job leveling up. <laughs> Maybe they balanced this place for players that purely went in on the story, so even if you just went in on the story, you'd be able to do it without having to worry. And then again, this is kind of a forced story segment. 
More rocks. But I guess the entire point of like, oh, the other rescue teams will also come fight you. It's supposed to be this kind of thing where you have to worry. It's like, oh, they're going to be as strong as Alakazam and stuff. So they don't really want to put you up against them. It would ruin the mystique. And after everything we did, too. And I really need to get around to drawing more. Well, that's going to be an annoying thing. He's going to try and screech pound through the corners. Oh, no. But one thing I was going to say was I really need to get around to drawing more Pokemon stuff. Draw scenes from this game. Become my own gut punch machine. Do not a bite of my salad, boy. He is not your salad. You do not get to eat him. And we're going to leave that behind because we don't want to clog our inventory. Sorry, Zubat. You must fall. You are a witness to our escape. If anything, I probably should have brought more Reviver Seeds. Oh, hello, Ninkata. You're in the way. Die. I wonder how many floors this Lapis Cave is. Kill the Nidorina! It is in the way! We must become fugitives, despite the fact we beat up Team Meanies, who want world domination. All that work. We even went up to, I forget what class of rescue team we became. But we came, became quite a decent rescue team. Oh. oh. For a moment I was gonna... Oh, please don't poison me. Well, granted, it's a small cave, so we don't really need to worry about it too much. We could just exit. Poison no longer holds fear over me. Aha! 69 experience points. Good thing we came this way, because we got more rocks! And we all need rocks for self-defense. I love the design of this cave. Or in Berry. For healing, if we ever need it. <laughs> but also, to kind of go back to what I was saying before of fighting rescue teams to add to the story, like... Maybe uh, that's just me wanting to be like, you fools. How dare you underestimate me, the Eevee. And then just crush them. They're like, how are you so strong? Indulgent story stuff. Well, I guess that just means I'll have to go and make my own Pokemon Mystery Dungeon comic someday. Who knows? For the giggles. Honestly. If it weren't for the fact that I'm a slow drawer, that would be actually a cool thing to do. Get experience try basically forcing myself to draw backgrounds and multiple characters and characters that I don't normally draw. Thoughts for the future. Oh, it's the poison train. I took no damage. Biggest lull. But they can poison me, and I don't want that. On principle. I just realized something. During my playthrough of Pokemon Yellow, I g g got a horrible hatred of, uh, what is their names? Not Beef Sprout. Bell Sprout. I just uh, attained a horrible hatred of Bell Sprout because of the rap move that just never ended and did lots of damage and then that outsped my dude. My poor Charmeleon. And it just caused me to hate the Bellsprout line for all eternity and swear vengeance upon them. And now <laughs> that there was a friendly Bellsprout, granted it did try to murder me along with the rest of the mob. 
is kind of repairing because now I'm being uh, shown a bell sprout again and again and again every time we go to town, and I don't immediately want to murder it. Granted, the first time I saw it, I was just like, oh, the sins of your ancestors, but otherwise, <laughs> that would be funny. If a Pokemon fan got drawn into... If only that was Taunt. If that was Taunt, I would have laughed. Like, of course you'd give it to me here! I wonder, it's been forever. I forget how they handle the storage system while we're in the fugitive section. But man, now, I, now I'm wondering. What would it be like if, like, this fugitive section went on longer? Or if there was, like, an entire Pokemon Mystery Dungeon game that was kind of the fugitive section. I don't know, my brain is just like, I want more! This is a cool idea, and I want more of that idea! That's basically what my brain does. When, an I when a cool thing is there, my brain is just like, yes, more of this, please. It's like that Thor gif. Nobody has watched Thor the movie, the first one. But it's just like... I like this. Another throws it on the ground. That's my... That's me in regards to this section. I want more emotional pain and agony. How dare you make Shane cringe? How dare you make Shane cringe? He is not cringe. You are cringe. I don't even know your Pokemon name off the top of my head. You can kill that bag on. Put it in a bag. A body bag. Kill it! Well, we should probably cure you of that. And that's just a loop. Oh no, it's that move. The cousin of that move that I hate so much. But now it's gone. Gold ribbon. That thing that we can sell to the people that hate us. Oh no. Onwards we go. We're getting hungry. We should have brought a big apple. We should have eaten you, New York. Aha. Let's see. No, that's a berry we don't care about. Let's see what's up. An apple! It's exactly what we needed in this starving era. Unless we can finish this cave and not have to. Up and not to go in that way. I also find it funny that it's just like we can't bring any of our our team members along. Shane might have just been like, "Oh, we can't do that because it might hurt them," and they'll try to like. <laughs> For me, I would have been like, "They might be in on it and try to kill us." My faith in the village went. To oh, hey, it's a Golbat. Hello, Golbat. Of course you use that. I'm cringing! I am the cringe! Kill. We must escape! We must escape the Lapis Dungeon! Love the music, though. <laughs> the music, amazing. Kill the Golbat! You can try to leech life all you want. Won't save you. But it will extend the fight, and that's kind of annoying. Yeah, let's... We can't. We must move on. We really need to get out of that room, or else Shane is going to go on a murder spree. Try and blitz ever so slightly. Well, not that much of a blitz. We're trying to go fast. We're not trying to speed run. There is a difference. Whoop! Hello, Golbat. Flying over the river wanderer. That was your mistake. A punch. We don't have any max elixirs, do we? We have one max elixir. Good. Yay, we got out. Whew. Finally, we made it through that cave. 
Where's the Pokemon mob that's after us? Hey, look, they're over there they are! Over there! Catch Neon! More like kill, but, you know, we can't say the quiet part out loud yet. Oh, here they come! Run! Stop right there, criminal scum! Don't let them get away! They expect us to stop and wait for them? <sighs> oh no! We have to go through a frickin' volcano. It, it's a mountain of fire! Look at all that lava pouring from the crater. Can we even make it through there? They're catching up to us. What do we do, Neon? Look, there they are! Get them! There's no choice now. Let's go! Look at them go! They're running for Mount Blaze! Are they insane? Mount Blaze is doomed to desolation! No one's ever come this far before! I don't want to go anywhere like that! It can't be helped. Only those brave enough will give chase. Just goes to show, we are... we are braver and more cowardly than them. And this is gonna be a nightmare for Shane, who is the grass type. Darn it, where'd they go? They had to go this way. Keep your eyes open. Roar! I think they're gone. <sighs> I think we managed to evade them, but there isn't any point hiding here. We have to get over this mountain to get away. Let's go as soon as we're ready. I can't check my storage. I <laughs> I guess they're like, if we're gonna force the player to go through multiple sections of the game without uh, diddly dee, we should probably let them access their storage too. And I'm going to take out a decent amount of reviver berries. Not reviver berries, reviver seed. Because I know what's up ahead. Let's see, let me look at my items. Uh, max elixir. Four reviver seeds, all of them for Shane. Two apples, a bunch of gravel rocks, and three orange berries, and a max elixir. Uh, let's go. Are you ready? Which way should we go? Mount Blaze. I wonder what the choice here is. We have to go through? Let's go through proper. Mount Blaze. Sounds very rough, but let's try our best. I don't want to go no rock path. This is Mount Blaze. <gasps> Taunt! We found Taunt! Friend area, once we're no longer fugitives, here we come. Have to kill you fast before Shane wastes some of his power points. I love the music. We'll just uh, stock this Pidgeotto. Once again, kind of a... It's only the... Because this, I think, is a two-part dungeon. Kind of mountain part at the start. And then fiery hellhole of doom later. Love the music. Stay away from my friend! I shall headbutt the lava slug! God damn it. I don't think that's gonna cure a burn. The wonder tile. Nope, no wonder burns to cure here. At least we can escape before it does too much damage to you. Uh, that's just a, a locked off way. We're gonna have so much money when we get back. You know, it would be a real kick in the gut. Oh, hey. I'm looking forward to serving you again. So the one time we find you is the like one time we can't buy from you? I'm guessing. I'm not gonna risk it. That guy kicks butt. He will kick my ass if I try and steal from him. It's like a designated fact. 
Thanks, God. Well, actually, super effective didn't do that much. Yay. And a facade. We're getting... <laughs> Shane out here flexing, using grass moves to annihilate fire types. Yeah, because I'm just not... Maybe one of the reasons why I can't... I never ran into him in before is I always had not that much money. And you need to have a certain amount of money before he'll spawn. And, like, I doubt that I'll ever actually run out of... I'll, I'll, if I play competently, I don't think that I'll ever actually... You know what? Uh, we're gonna be going for so long, I might as well just eat the gummy myself. Increase my intelligence. It doesn't seem to dislike this gummy. I shall throw a rock at it. It's a fire type. It'll be weak to rock. Mwahaha. <laughs> and we're starting to get the lava. Money. You've got to have money. Even when you're on the run, especially when you're on the run. You need to pay the back the black market uh, taxes. Which is basically, this is illegal. Give us more money. There ain't no market regulation in the goddamn black market. Get out of here. What would the Pokemon black market look like? In the Pokemon world, do they too sell Slowpoke Tails? I mean... Something has to eat Slowpokes. They're slow. Oh, it's a Torkoal. Torkoal! I remember you from the anime! We're already a decent level, so let's just speed on ahead. We don't need to level up from these. We need to survive! <laughs> okay, this is just... This is the world of TMs! This is this isn't Mystery Dungeon. It's TM Dungeon. Y you are going to be coward? Get back here! I have like 70 rocks. You're not going to escape. Son of a bitch. Kill! Stop running away! I have rocks! And the sad thing is, we probably can't even recruit in here. Even temporarily. Hey, you want to join a criminal band? <laughs> I call guitar. Oh, rocks. Rocks, rocks, rocks. I want this witch hunt on the rocks. Curse. Uh, kill. <laughs> no, thank you. Ah, oh, shit. Thank you. That moment when not effective is still a ton of damage, but that also the fact that it rose its defense so much that it was basically a not effective move. It basically cut my attack in half from that defense rising. Quick attack him! Booyah! Oh. Not another slug boy! I'm gonna kill you before I go to sleep, you know. And now, I go to sleep. How dare you? He made me go to sleep hungry! I probably should have brought a sleep seed for a boss fight, because I know there's going to be a boss fight. Oh, shiza. Double shiza. Kill. I am full of fear. You can run across lava, but you can't run away from rock. You together. God damn it. Kill the lava slug. 
Ah, now we have to eat one of our apples. Yum yum. Well, at least it'll be a nice cooked apple. Because, you know, we're by the fire. Ooh. Who would have thought? Going further into a volcano cures your burn. Jesus Christ, what is this? The game is taunting me because it's giving me two taunts. All that time of me going about, I was like, where is a taunt? I need to find a taunt so I can get a, uh, a friend's area from this mission. And then, the game is here when we can't turn go do missions. Two taunts! If it just gave me one taunt, it would just be like, aha, I got it. It gave me two taunts just to let me know. Yes, it is indeed a taunt. <laughs> the game has insulted me. <laughs> what the hell? Will you please die already? We're missing five billion moves. And we leveled up. This Pokemon has learned a new move, so it must forget an old one. Quick attack. That might be nice. I never use Helping Hand, I keep forgetting, and doing more damage is nice. I am just pure offense. What about you, Shane? Did you level up? Booyah! I did it! Level up! Level up! Let's move on. Further, up Mount Blaze! Stop attacking my ally! Get out of here, you horse! Money. Ever further up this mountain of fire, where others dare not come, we shall thrive on our quest for truth. Oh, hey, it's a link box! Now I can kill people from far away. So if I ever want to link something or de-link something in the field, I can. Granted, I also had, I already had a link box. <laughs> I would like to save my adventure. At least we're toasty nice and warm. Onwards we go. Mount Blaze Peak. You'd think it would be even crazier, but no, it's nice and calm. It's oddly calm, I guess because it's the calm before the storm. Please stop wasting pounds through walls. Holy shit, holy shit, please stop, please, cease, bastard. Okay, Firo is kill on sight. Is instant, kill by any means necessary. You, not so much. Actually, we can do this. Because I have quick attack. But yeah, Firo, kill on sight. Spare no expense, kill Firo. That was, I still have two, right? Yeah, I still have two Reviver Seeds, thank God. You'll probably hate this, but this is for science. What do you think of this red gummy, Shane? It doesn't seem to like this very much, but it still had status checker increase. Quick attack! Well, that's not very nice at all. Ow! I'm being bullied! Will you hit the dog? It was like three times your size. Murder. We can't... 
Quick attack from behind. From my behind to over me. We don't have time for your shenanigans. Ah. Is this it? Is this Mount Blaze's summit? Wow, this is incredible. I know it's a volcano, but the lava flow is much higher than normal. This might also have a link to the natural calamities. Oh, it's like a furnace. I'm getting roasted. I don't want to spend any time in a place this dangerous. Let's get through this quick. Halt! Huh? What? It suddenly turned dark. I can hear the mountain screams. It is shrieking in pain. Someone is causing Mount Blaze to writhe in agony. Is it you? Huh? You've got it wrong. It's not us. We just happen to be passing through here. Who are you anyway? Show yourself. The mountain's rage is my rage. I am Moltres, the warrior of fire I am! There is no forgiving those who befoul the mountain. On guard! All right, Shane. Don't run at the giant monster bird that wants to kill you. And is super effective against you. If anything, I will probably send you running. But let's try and not think about it too much. Just spam moves. Ow. Please don't use something more powerful. Shane, please attack. Please attack with moves. Shane! Why do you use screech through wall corners, but not this? I'm not done. I'm not finished yet. Wait, listen. We're not here to cause trouble. We're only here because we've been chased here. You have to realize this mountain isn't the only place that's suffering. Natural calamities are occurring all over the place. We're fugitives now, so we can't do anything. But we want to help other Pokemon that are suffering from these natural disasters. Do you say that sincerely? It's true. Please believe me. If you think I'm lying, look at my eyes. It would be hilarious if you had chose a Cyndaquil for this. <laughs> what the bird said. Ay -ay 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 -ay! Fine. I trust that you aren't lying. Oh, that was scary. I felt like my knees turned to jelly. You may pass. Get through Mount Blaze and promise me this. Promise me that you will find the cause of the calamities that rack our world and stop the disasters from sowing more destruction and suffering. Okay, I promise. Of course, that's not possible right now, but... <laughs> what the bird said. Well, we will. We'll get on it. We're being hunted, so we can't get to it right away. But we're a rescue team. We'll investigate what's behind the natural calamities, I promise. I will hold you to that promise. You've made me believe that you will honor that promise. If you do not forget the courage you showed in facing me. Ah, is there is there anything else? No. I was only preparing to take off. <laughs> oh. Does it need to do that? Farewell. Can't you stay and uh, hold off some of the people that are coming to beat us up? <laughs> that was scary. But I'm glad Moltres understood us. That was key. Anyway, let's get off Mount Blaze ourselves. I wonder what that 
Oh, the song again. Run away. Run away. Run away and stay with me. <sighs> we sure walked a lot. You can literally see the path we took. Dear God. I'm Bush. Let's rest up. <sighs> My view's fantastic. Oh, look, Neon! Look over there! See how small Mount Blaze looks from here? We've really come a long way, haven't we? Neon, do you remember how hard it was to get across Mount Blaze? I don't think too many Pokemon could get through there. And then we gave it our all to get out here. Do you know what I'm thinking? We've come so far. Maybe there aren't any Pokemon that can get to us. No, there are others. Oh, there's someone else? Well, who do you mean? Oh, I get it. There's Alakazam. You're right. Alakazam's team should be able to get through here. Yep, we don't have a choice. We have to keep going. I think we need to get somewhere no one else can get to. Let's be positive. Keep moving. Huh? What's the matter? Aren't you coming, Neon? Huh? Am I tired? They're chasing us down. He can't afford to rest. And I told you already. I said I would go with you, Neon. Oh, come on. No need for that long face. I'm fine. Let's go, Neon. I'll go wherever you go. Just the true friend. And so, Neon's harrowing journey continued, seeking refuge in even harsher places. They fled north. They crossed row upon row of mountains, forded fetid swamps, scaled frozen cliffs, till finally, Neon's tiny team arrived in a world of snow. A frigid wasteland of driving blizzards. You bet I'm gonna save. We got annihilated a bit. Ever so slightly annihilated. We had any time that a reviver seed is used, that is when the going got tough and the tough came to eat us. It's cold. <laughs> Yuck. Nose is running and it's freezing. Isn't this one lonely place? See how deep the snow is. We're walking on rock. I haven't seen any other Pokemon for a while either. Maybe we're all alone here. Oh, what's the matter? What's that? What was that? <laughs> For a moment there, my brain wanted to auto-complete that to what the fuck? <laughs> it looked like a Pokemon, but did I imagine it? No, I don't think so. I'm sure there was somebody there. I wonder what they were doing in this lonely place. What are we doing in this lonely place? Anybody who doesn't know who we are is asking the very same thing. I guess thinking about it won't help us. We should keep moving. Oh! Neon, look! See that? Those trees are frozen! Wow! The snow is like frozen powder! It looks pretty, but it must be harsh there. Frosty Forest. Okay, we don't have a choice. We have to go through this place. It would be horribly cold. I'd rather not go if I didn't have to. But hiding out in this area isn't the answer either. We can only go forward. We'll just have to keep our spirits up and keep going, Neon. Check storage. Alright, let's store. Plain seed, plain seed. Yeah, we had to use two of our reviver seeds. And a ton of RTMs and the link box. <laughs> Alright, we 
We're gonna take another Reviver Seed. It shouldn't be that bad because it won't be super effective if we run into anything big. Uh, speaking of big, we'll take one big apple and uh, one normal apple. Are you ready? Let's go, Shane. Let's go through the frosty forest. Okay, let's go. It's going to be freezing cold, but let's try our best. I'm not sure what happens if you take the other paths. I only ever take the one standing right before me. Okay, this is actually... Actually creepy looking. It looks less like, like snow and more like bone. There was a zoom, or else. I still don't get why ice moves don't really work on water types. You'd think they would be super affected. Oh yeah, we can do that. <laughs> Let's move on. Hello, Furret. Ha! Now, um, how dare you run? Like, seriously. Imagine you just, like, come across an Eevee in a Trico, you try to beat them up, then you try to run away, and the Eevee just freaking throws a rock at you. Quit run. Ahem. Quit running. I said to quit running! No escapes for you! <laughs> I am the rock thrower. I am leader of the rock throwers. I throw bunches of rocks at you because you're nothing but a giant coward! I'm not going to waste a quick attack hunting down a coward. That's what rocks are for. <laughs> Look, more rocks. <laughs> yes, yes, come fight. Bring your... Why are all the furrets cowards? My furret from Pokemon Chris... Will you die already? Well, as I was saying, my furret from... Ow. From Pokemon Crystal was very much a wondrous creature. A uh, queen. Literally, I named her queen because she was a drama queen being caught at level three. What is with all the misses? Well, the music definitely fits this place. Hello, Nosepass. Please die. Make it easy on everyone. You didn't even give me one extra point for 69. Ditto. 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 Are you Ditto? Or are you... Kill. Why didn't you do that before with the other nose pass? Hello. I'm a failure. I tried to throw a rock, so instead I just hit the air. But I do have a quick attack. Oh, it was a ditto. Uh, bloody blast seed. You're the first thing going. <laughs> now this is the actual mammoth swine. I've been frozen solid! Good thing the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon wasn't, uh, made in first generation or that would be permanent. Or until you're hit by a fire attack. Apple. When you're in this stretch of the game, <gasps> Apple. Shockwave. If only we had a Pokemon that could use it. Can I use it? I will teach myself Shockwave. I can't. Why not? Eevee is the most magical of Pokemon. Of course it can learn everything. I'll kill this one. You kill that one. Okay, they were both real.
horn attack, you have tusks. Please don't freeze me again! Quit spamming your room move! Struggle? Ditto only knows struggle, does it? What? Even the narration has nothing to say. Someone has intruded upon the forest. The enfeebled flow of icy winds is the intrusion to blame. It must be stopped. For it is to protect the forest. Well, that's not nice at all. No idea why this is the area of the ditto, though. Let's get out of here! Well, you're a ditto. Goodbye, ditto. I don't have to fear you. Kindly die! It killed itself. The tragedy. We don't have much to do. Press onward! But yeah, I wonder once again, because my brain is trying to think of things to say, what is, like, the difference between taking, like, the rocky path and the Mount Blaze? The powdered, uh, forest or the other path thingy? <laughs> which way is which and what does it even do, really? What is the difference? The ramifications! The doom plot! Huh. We're seven floors deep and we're only now getting hungry. Neat. Well, let's see. We can go a bit longer without having to eat. And we can't even buy apples out here. Honestly, if we found an apple in this forest, Shane, I think I wouldn't trust it. It would probably be a ditto trying to, well, get inside me. And I don't like that. Simply put, I do not trust. <laughs> I'm trying to, it's like <laughs> that meme image. I don't trust like that. <laughs> this Agron look L Lyron. I thought it would be Agron. I guess you're the midway. You're the mid evolution. And you gave us hefty experience. Noise. Bl bloody blast seeds! Blast seed is literally the worst item in this game. Except for the reviser seeds. Reviser seeds are worst by default. But blast seeds, you can't really sell them. They take up so many places in your inventory. And they don't even do that much damage. Like, seriously, I think I tested it on a Pokemon, and it literally did as much damage as a rock. I'm not sure if the seeds stack. But yeah. Well, if this... No, no, seeds don't stack, but if, like, if seeds level up with you. That is what I meant to say. Beat up the boy! Pounch! Uh-oh, music's gone. It's because we're at the midway. I would like to save my adventure! Because <laughs> we're probably going to need it. Frosty Grotto. Weather, snow. I think this is the first time we've run into a weather condition that wasn't just, oh, shadows. How much money do we have? We have almost 3,000 monies. <laughs> All this money and nothing to buy. Oh hell. I'm gonna quick attack you, because you scary looking. Help! Help! 
help! Matang looks scary. It's another bloody Matang! Why are you punching me? Of course it would miss. Some nice music for this one too. Kind of ominous. But kind of in a quirky way. Mild quirkiness for ominous. Hello. At least it's not hail. Kill. <coughs> we should probably go about killing Pokemon more. Because we need to increase our damage. If we're not killing in one hit, we're not doing it correctly. That is my metrics for murder. Hello, Matang. You will die to me! Ow! Aha, you missed, fool. <gasps> Reviver Seed! This is like the first time I found a Reviver Seed on the floor in forever. But hey, I'll take it. You dare punch my face. I punch your face with my face. The power of face. I'm gonna quick attack you because you're scary. And then I'll headbutt you. Quick attack, headbutt, kind of far away. Tackle, headbutt, but right next to you. I love this game. Orenberry and a clear gummy. That's the normal one, I think. Either way, I'm eating it. Nom. I think I was wrong, but either way. I ate it, so I am always right. That is the power of IQ. Congre Rob me of my experience, will you? That's kind of frustrating. It doesn't even work on self-destruct mechanics. If something self-destructs, it should... The experience should go to me. Every single time I go up a floor, I'm just waiting for the music to cut out and begin our doom. That is how I gauge things. Music stays on, safety. Music change on floor change, fear. I'm gonna throw a rock at you. I missed, god dang it. Quick attack! Might you stop being existing in my way? I love the synth violin here. It has a feeling to it. Annihilate this Rhyhorn! Giovanni will be shown a message. Ah, we leveled up! Yay! Everyone's leveling up. Except our enemies. Well, I guess they are technically leveling up too, because they're taking more time to actually kill, but meh. Oh no. We sure have traveled far into this forest. I think we'll be out if we can get through this part. It shouldn't be far. Let's keep going. Huh? Neon, did you say something? <laughs> I don't know if I shake my head. That's a great animation. I didn't think so. I thought I heard a voice. I must have imagined it. Turn back. You may not pass. You shall not pass! Who's there? You are forbidden to pass. 
If you persist in trying to pass, then so be it. But only after you have defeated me! Oh, it's too bright! The eyes around us is reflecting this! I am Articuno, the Warder of Ice! Those that enter my forest, I shall destroy with all my might! Let us begin! Quick attack! Pounch! Sand attack, tail whip, and tackle! The ultimate link! Hello, uh, at least, uh... At least you're not... Dude, you're not gonna super effect, my boy. Wait, ice. Does ice super effect? I... Oh yeah, I think it does. Oh, that's not good at all. But we have reviver seeds. Yay! We didn't even die that time! Please, Articuno! We have to get through, no matter what it takes. Please, let us pass! No! I cannot allow your passage! Why? Why can't we pass? The frigid forest's air. It was warmed considerably in recent times. Warmed up? I'm still freezing, but... The flow of frigid air has been disturbed in the forest. Snow has started to melt. Snow is melting. Snow that has never melted before. This has never happened, even once. Then you appeared in the forest. Is this not your doing? We don't have anything to do with that. It's a coincidence. Please, Articuno, hear me out. It isn't our fault that we the snow started melting here. It's not just here. Natural calamities are taking place everywhere right now. The forest's frigid airflow would have been disturbed even if we hadn't come. Is that all? You expect me to believe that? Ah! Enough of your foolish talk. Prepare for your end! Stop it! A Absol! There is nothing false in what they say. Calamities are indeed occurring in natural... in nature, everywhere. I is that true? Yes. I have the ability to sense natural disasters. The calamities taking place now are of a special nature. I've never experienced such before. So there are calamities besides this. Fine. I will choose to believe you. You may pass. Articuno. However! Ah! You must try to prevent the calamities from spreading. I'm counting on you. Yep. We promise, Articuno. <laughs> oh, that was too close. Thank you. You saved us. Rather than saying thanks, focus on stopping the calamities before they worsen. If they are left unchecked, worse will befall us. My instinct warns me so. Uh... I sensed the terrible power of the natural calamities. It was led here by my feelings... I was led here by my feelings of foreboding. I think it would be best if we combined forces. I will join you. Huh? You will? Really? Really. To put an end to the calamities, cooperation is vital. Let me lend you my powers. <laughs> Thank you, Absol. Absol has joined the team! Hmm. Oh, what kind of name should I give you? What name should I give you? I know, I know. You shall be called Fate. Come along, Fate. We have a journey to do. And so, after getting through the frosty forest, Neon's team headed further north. The more they advanced, 
the harsher the conditions became. How can anything be more harsh than eternal winter that has never frozen and a bloody volcano? What could be worse? This icy mountain path seems to go on forever. We've walked a long way here. Shane looks exhausted too. We've been running all this time out of desperation. What's in store for us ahead? Are we really doing the right thing? Ugh. This is too cold! There's nothing but snow now! The scenery's been the same for a while! I wonder if we're really making progress. Hey, Neon, I was thinking. I think we've come to a place that's empty except for us. I have this feeling there's nothing ahead of here, even if we keep moving. And I'm getting exhausted. We too. What's going to happen to us? Don't worry. We'll be fine. Sure. That's right. There isn't any point in wondering about what might happen. Not after coming this far. Sorry, Neon. I was just feeling sorry for myself. I have faith in you, Neon. That's what brought me here. That's not changing. I still have faith in you, Neon. I'll keep going wherever you go. Yes. Shane trusts me without any doubt. I can't afford to be indecisive. I have to believe in myself more. Ow! What? Exactly. What was that? D dizzy? Or what? Huh? Is something wrong, Neon? Finally. Finally you have arrived. Someone... Someone is talking to me. Shane? No, the voice isn't Shane. This voice... I've heard it somewhere. Finally. You have arrived. I've been waiting for you. G Gardevoir! I'm so glad. Finally we meet again. You're... What? Neon, is something the matter? Why are you talking to yourself? I cannot be seen by others. I am visible only to you. A little farther ahead, there is a jagged mountain range topped by Mount Freeze. Inside its peak, Ninetales lives. Ninetales? Ninetales awaits your arrival. Beware. Wait! Hey, Neon! Neon! What's the matter? What happened? Ah, uh, you know, just signs of madness. Oh, so something like that happened. Gardevoir appeared to you. That's why you were looking so stunned earlier. I'm amazed, though. Ninetales isn't just a legend. It really exists. And that Ninetales is up at the peak. <laughs> Neon! All the effort we put into getting here, it's finally going to bear fruit. We'll meet Ne Nine Tails and get the truth. We'll finally get rid of the suspicions others have about you, Neon. Awesome! Listen, Neon. Don't be so worried. It will be all right. It's only natural that you would be scared of meeting Nine Tails, Neon, the heartless human who abandoned Gardevoir. It may be you. I can understand how you could think that, but that's impossible. You're not that human. I'm sure. You believe in me so much? Huh? Well, there was a time when I had some doubts, but now... I wonder why. I really don't know why. But it's alright, Neon. You're a really good sort. You know, before, when I first got the idea to start a rescue team, I met you in the tiny woods, Neon. Now I think about it, there was something different about you. And <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? But Neon, I believe in you. Anyway, we'll know the truth when we get to the peak. Neon, let's do our best. All right, let's store uh, five billion things. And let's go.
with the help of the boy. I'm gonna keep another reviver seat on me because I am terrified. I am full of fear. Wait, how many apples do we have? Two apples, big apple. I'm gonna take another apple. Apple. Well, Shane, let's go. Which way? Mount Freeze. Okay, let's go. Let's do our best to reach the peak. I love the motifs and the music. Get out of here. And after this, uh, after we beat this dungeon, I think that'll be it for the stream because we've been going for a long time. It's just that story, story, story. Beat, 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 story. Love the story. We must escape. The enemy is coming for us. Beat him up. This section will be easy. It'll be once we get to the peak and start ascending that things will really start to crack. Oh, hey. Hey, special Ben. In fact, what moves do you have, Fate? Scratch, Taunt, Quick Attack. Damn it, I should have given you a power band. But no matter. Onwards we go. You're an ugly sort, Birdman. Die! Huh, let's talk to Fate. I'm here to fight off natural disasters. Whatever you say, Fate. The only reason more characters don't have, like, female voices or, like, that kind of voice is because I can't do that voice. Otherwise, I feel like Fate would be that. <gasps> Revive a seat! I'm gonna get that fucking Revive a seat! Revive a seat! Revive a seat! You better come out of there. You better give it to me. Then revive a seed. Will be mine. You rotten bastard. You. F I forgot. Wait. Oh, it's just a fucking plain seed. It's a plain seed. Ah! Rage. Rage and anger. The fact that they can take Reviver Seeds. And unless you probably have like a move like Thief. Or any kind of move that would actually smack items out of the hands. <laughs> Pain and agony. Pain and misery. <laughs> oh, a stamina band. What does a stamina band do? I don't know. I've never seen a stamina band. That slows how quickly the Pokemon's ability goes down. Hmm. But I love doing major damage. I love major damage. But I might... I'll definitely keep that. For some... Because I can... I, mean, I guess it depends on, like, what we're doing. I might, I might very well keep the stamina band as a swap item. That might be it. Actually? Yeah. Screw it. Give to me. And now, whenever we get into combat, that seems scary, I'll just equip the power band. But I think that might take a... <gasps> Reviver Seed! Yay! We just have so many Reviver Seeds. I think the game is telling me something. I definitely think the game is telling me something. Also, the snow is kind of hard to see. Just a glance, I can't tell where things properly go. Attack so everyone can catch up. You know, if there are... I find it funny, it's just like, there aren't that many Pokemon out here, I guess. We enter a dungeon, there's like 5 billion Pokemon. And, ah, that stops you from falling asleep. Neat! Okay, I'm... Definitely looks further than two, but what do I know? Oh. 
Oh, I love this game. I love the feel of it. I love the flow of it. The game's so good. And the thing is, it's so simple. That's the beauty of it. It's a nice, simple story. Clear gummy. What be the clear gummy again? Uh, clear gummy. Info. Ice type. I don't think we have an ice type. Oh, dear God, another Reviver Seed. I think that's basically Iron Thorn. I think that's another throwable. I think it's a straight throwable instead of an arc throwable. I just love it. And now I think Fate will be a permanent addition of our team. Because Fate... I love Absols. Absols are just great. They're great! Now I'm back on my idea of, like, in a Pokemon world, what kind of marketing shenanigans would there be? Like, what kind of... What kind of, uh... Do -do 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 Will you fucking stop, mate? Like, uh, what kind of cereal mascots would there be? And the like, yay! This Pokemon learned a new move. Bite. You can get rid of taunt. Well, let's see. What's taunt? Inflicts the taunted status effect. Okay, what's this taunted status effect? When using moves or wonder orbs, the Pokemon will only use offensive ones that inflict damage. Yeah, that's worthless to me. Like, unless you, like, have Pursuit on top of Taunt, but that setup that could have just been used doing two damage attacks. When did you get Iron Throwables? I'm dumb. Yeah, you can have more iron throwables. Mm, but there's a, there's been a decent amount of things that we've gotten from wandering around. So let's keep looking. We might want to have uh, more things to find that we want to throw items away for. Okay, that's terrifying. Oh no! Dear God. Uh-huh. Uh... Kill. Die. Alright. Haha, <laughs> fool! You've fallen right into my trap! Even though you just died instantly. But yeah, Stamina Band, beauty. I love this game. I also love the, like, the different feeling it gives off compared to other Pokemon games. And yet, at the same time, it's still a normal Pokemon game. Ah, crap. I just love it. Not to mention, it also focuses on the Pokemon! I just love it. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. I wonder, like, uh, cause Mystery Dungeon is, like, uh, its own- is it its own IP or what? I don't know. Is it just, like... I don't know. Uh, hey, you can have this here. Actually, you can have both gummies. It'll free up space. <laughs> we will give it to you then. Give to fate. And now, eat that. And now you can have your iron dealies again. Give to fate. And now we will just, uh, get rid of that, uh, plane seed. We don't need you! Be gone, Satan! Fate got caught. 
and I don't know why. Aha! 69. And we'll just go ahead and bounce up. Snow. Inside of a cave? That seems rather rude. Because this is a cave, right? Roddy thief! We've been stolen from! You ever see just a floating bell float on by? Dear God, we're getting so many Reviver Seeds! Are you the one that stole money from us? Why do you have so much health? Hmm. I'm getting so paranoid, I think I'm going to... Wait. Where's my normal band? Power band. Give to me. It'll just be a little thing I do, just in case. That way I don't spend a round. Because I think that's how it works. You spin rounds. So that way, just in case, we uh, enter into a boss floor, I can have my max power going into a boss fight. Fighting little minion dudes don't care. Fighting big boss. Fear. Clear gummy, I already forget. Ice or what? Which one is which? I'll eat it. Cause I'm Neon Icy Wings. I shall use Quick Attack to murder you! Whoop! I shall throw rocks. Throw rocks! And I'll just let you uh, come near so I can beat you to death. And let's move on. I just forgot my strategy. Oh yes, my strategy will be this, and then I won't do that. Let me clearly lay out my strategy, and then I will proceed to not follow my strategy. If you see, it's to psych out the game. If the game doesn't know what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna win. I hate Fairy Cutter, especially on higher level Pokemon. Bah, humbug. Put back on the power band. Enter on! It's like the game is pushing me up further and further. And I'll go ahead and eat this other gummy because it's taking up space in my. Diddly D. Non traitor! What? Non traitor? Non traitor, what? If it becomes confused or is cowering, the Pokemon's wildly thrown attacks will not hit friends. Don't know why it's not auto put on. Okay. Foolish man. Hello, Chimico. Chimico. You did more damage to yourself. Stop, bit. Stop using that quarters. Stop using that corners. <laughs> hey, kid. Stop all the downloading. I'm a computer. Just ancient memories bubbling up to scream in my ears. I shall throw a rock. 
Dang it. I shall throw a rock. And another rock. Well, that's terrifying. Murder. Well, that's not nice at all. Murder! To the next floor! I forgot my strategy again! Oh, hey, it's a survivor! Die! How much money do we have now? We're almost at 4,000. It's an apple! That is all the treasure that I need. But before we go... Power Band, on! You have come to face your nightmare! Now, for some reason, my brain is imagining Arnold Schwarzenegger as the main vocalist for Avenged Sevenfold. Ha. Huh. Yeah, screw it. Let's go on. Wait, did I change my thing around? I did not, so this works perfectly. Woo. Potentially starving to death because my memory is shot. Do you ever just forget to eat? I wonder if this, in this Pokemon world of mystery dungeon news, if there is, like, any snack corporations. Probably not, but, hey, you never know. Absol is more determined to use thrown stakes. Slack off, slackings are not vampires. They are not vampires. Believe me. Do not bite the salad boy. Royal gummy? A food item that someone's yeah, when given to a rescue team member, it raises the dragon type. Ugh. You could have just called it purple. Royal sounds different. Uh oh, I forgot my strategy again, but luckily it's a save point. <laughs> Fear is taking a hold. Mount Freeze Middle! Okay, maybe the peak will just be one room. Oh, never mind. That was the mid. I just never read the other peaks before. Glalie. You look kind of creepy like this. But yeah, I guess I just never read the other save rooms for the mountains. And they explicitly said the middle. But now we're at the... Nearing the peak... Actually, this might work perfectly. If Shane will use his quick attack. Leave my boy alone. My boy, fate. I shall continue throwing rocks. Well, that's just rude. But you can't dodge rocks, you stupid ball! And now my memory has brought up that, uh, what's it called? The Trans-Siberian Orchestra actually created a song called Fate. 
Weep and retrieve my when you're sitting all alone in the dark, never knowing what is real in the shadow. She peeks. Will you kindly die already? <laughs> Why are they sending the Glalie Hit Squad after me? Glalie Hit Squad, no. Glalie. Hit squad, no, no. Glalie, hit squad, go home. You rotten bastard. Quit slowing me down! Help! The bouncy balls are here to murder me! Stop! Quick attack! Something! Murder! Please! Yeah! Leveled up! Yeah! Now it's time for the other bouncy ball to die! For I have rocks! Oh yeah, I can't really do much because I'm slow. I've been frozen today. Let's get out of here, the Glalie are scaring me. White gummy? When did I pick this up? Oh, white gummy is the one I need to eat more. My intelligence has grown. Vastly. Now we move on. Is it the peak of the peak? Nope. But I love the music, though. It is terrifying and haunting me. But at the same time, it still fits. Die, Glalie! You don't belong in this world! Stop! Stop it! Stop! Ah! Evasion. Terrifying in real time. I'm just gonna throw a rock at you. How dare you. I'm gonna throw another rock at you. Now you're just being mean. Another blue gummy. This gummy goes out to you, Shane. Because after all, you eat water types for breakfast. Even though we haven't actually run into that many water types except in the water maze. I forgot my plan again! It's because you eat water types for breakfast. Just take the bloody thing. Let's leave the fucking baseball alone. Has it, in the world of Pokemon, has anybody been assassinated at like a baseball game and they swap out the ball for a, an electrode or a Voltorb? Somebody had to have been blown up by a frickin' high-speed Voltorb. Someone had to have. It only makes sense. Because if you live in that world, surely... You can have this one. Have it. You're supposed to eat it! Ah! Why is take on the first thing? If I am hovering over them, I will just... Why is this? That's my one criticism of this game. Is that far too often? And I forgot. My strategy is falling apart. Nobody pick up their money. But Neon, we're on the run for our lives to discover the truth. But money. <laughs> Great. 
You're like a landelier. Just a giant ball with a mouth that's trying to bite me. <laughs> but yeah, Neon, money it isn't worth anything out here. We're all alone trying to fi find the truth. But money! <laughs> You must die now for what you have done! I forgot what's the And it's the one that mattered! Mount Freeze Peak. We finally arrived! This is the summit, isn't it? I wonder where Ninetales is. There they are! I've spotted Neon! Mulrine! I see them! Alkazam! It's about time we finally caught up to you. Your fugitive act dragged us all the way out here. Pipe down, Tyranitar! We can finally settle things here. I can barely contain myself. I'm itching for a fight! Haven't you been fighting the wild Pokemon all this way here? Shane, don't think badly of me. I don't know how to show mercy. Neon, I didn't wish for this conclusion, but this too is fate. The role of a rescue team is to help bring peace. We will crush you with every shred of our power. Get them! I like that kind of cutscene battle. Cease this at once! What? Uh, Ninetales. What? Ninetales? That's Ninetales? The legend. It was real. Cease fighting at once, Alakazam. They are my guests. Tell us, Ninetales. Who was the human that appeared in your legend? No, even before that, was the legend itself a true event? Depending on your reply, I may have no choice but to eliminate them. Whether they consider my curse to be a legend or not, I cannot. However, it did happen. Many years ago, I tried to lay a curse on a human. It was then, however, that Gardevoir, the human's partner, dashed in. It selfishly bore the full brunt of the curse meant for the human. Then the human did a selfish and cowardly thing. They abandoned Gardevoir and fled. The human eventually became a Pokemon, transformed into a Pokemon the human, the human lives on. And that human would be who is the human that you speak of? Neon. You may relax. It is not you. Just now? What did you just say? Neon is not the human that appears in the legend. That is what I said. What? What? What's happening to me? I'm too tensed up to move. <laughs> Deep breaths. In. Out. 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 <sighs> wow! Fantastic! That's great! I knew that Neon wasn't involved. I knew it! There's no way that Neon would do those terrible things. I have another thing to say. It is true that I foretold of the world's balance becoming unstable. However, that human becoming a Pokemon and the world's balance are not linked in any way. The cause of the natural calamities, it exists elsewhere. Hey, you! You were wrong! You were wrong to hound and harass Neon! Uh, uh, we uh, apologize. We're sorry. We got worked up by that Gengar. No, I suspected right from the start. Neon just doesn't look like the treacherous type. <laughs> if only that were true. 
But I must say, you ought to be commended for prevailing through this cruel journey and discovering the truth. Impressive, Neon. <laughs> Excellent! I knew I was right! Huh? Oh, but wait. Then why did Neon turn into a Pokemon? I understand that Neon is the human from that legend. Then how do you explain Neon becoming a Pokemon? Neon, who are you? Ah! The ground's heaving! Qu quake The world's crust is shifting! The natural calamities are worsening! And the shifting of the ground! It will awaken the beast that embodies the ground! The beast that slept deep underground. Groudon will awaken! What? Groudon is rising? Groudon? What is that? What's a Groudon? A legendary Pokemon that has been spoken of only in myths. It is the Pokemon that raised the land masses and created continents. It is said to have taken to sleep after catastrophic battles with its archenemy Kyogre. If Groudon were to get loose, there would be chaos. It must be stopped. We will go. We'll go too. No, you must remain behind. Groudon is far more powerful than any Pokemon you have faced. We fought Zapdos, we fought Articuno, we fought Maltres. We were doing pretty good against you if it were gameplay, fairly certain. Leave it to us. That's how it goes. You go back to your rescue team base for a well and rest. Don't worry about us. We didn't get our gold rank the easy way. What would be the easy way? Paperwork? We'll get the job done, and we'll be back before you know it. Fine. We're off to quell Groudon. And thus, Alakazam's team made their way underground to quell the awakened Groudon. Meanwhile, cleared of all suspicion, Neon's team put an end to their long and arduous journey and returned to their welcoming rescue team base. God, if this was like... Imagine if it was a long-form comic or manga. This would be like... That would have been like such a long arc. Meanwhile, back in Pokemon Square... <laughs> you lot! Why aren't you out there hunting down Neon's team? That's easy for you to say. It's too much for us. They say Neon's team has gone way far out there. If we went, the best we could hope for is maybe the Lapis Cave. I joined the chase, but they fled into Mount Blaze. For the life of me, I can't go in there. And that's where I lost their trail. I'm a grass type, see? Fire doesn't agree with me at all. I don't know what became of Neon's team after that. But those fugitives, to think they would risk Mount Blaze. They've grown tough. They've grown up tough. I can't keep up. <laughs> what a spineless lot you all are. You're so full of big talk. What about your team, Ginga? You just hang around in the square and don't do a thing. Walk the talk, you guys. Go. We're out of that picture. <laughs> Our rules to receive word about Neon's demise. <laughs> just appointed yourself that. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. Medicham, what's the word? Neon, Neon is... Oh, finally! We're finally rid of Neon. <laughs> no! It's the opposite! Neon is back! What did you say? Sup, bitches? Hey! Over there! Neon! But they're back! Hi, everyone! We're back! <sighs> we finally made it back gone for so long. Feels kind of nostalgic to be back in the square, Neon. Especially because how long it must have been as a journey. What was the compressed time frame? Hey, Shane. Hmm. Oh, it's you, Gengar. It's been a while. Kaka. What's with that smug confidence? Kaka. Maybe. 
Gengar. Everything you said was completely wrong. Neon had nothing to do with it. Neon was innocent. What? Is that true? Yep, we met Nine Ninetales and asked. Neon isn't the human from the legend. We're back because we discovered the truth. Wait a second! You can't be trusted yet! If you're going to make that claim, let's see some proof. Proof? That's right! Some hard evidence! Let's see some proof! Come on, out with it! Proof. We don't have any. <laughs> it's too bad you don't have proof. You came back for us so we could get rid of you easier. How conveniently foolish. <laughs> now, fellow Pokemon, here's your chance to get rid of Neon. <laughs> What's wrong, everyone? Don't you want to be rid of Neon? I... I always believed in Neon. You don't fool me! Hey, I'm out. I was saved by Neon's team before. I joined the chase with a heavy heart because of your urging. But I simply can't think of Neon being bad in any way. I've heard enough too. I believe Neon. Yeah, that's right. Who needs proof? <laughs> Everyone. Extra, extra! Read all about it! Now this is an awesome scene. This feels like an awesome set piece in a story any anyway. What? What is this? It looks like a newspaper, doesn't it? Okay, I'll read it aloud. Let's see. Pokemon News Extra. Neon Innocent. Neon met with a Ninetales under the watchful eye of Alakazam and proved that it had nothing to do with the human in the legend. I'm an it. How painful. As a result, Gengar's claims were found to be malicious lies. Int. <laughs> you rotten! Run! That, that, that's the wish cash pond. That doesn't go anywhere, idiot. Stop, you liar! You conned us! Thank you, Pulipper, for your timely news. Welcome back. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's good to be back. We're back like we promised. <laughs> I'm so glad. Neon isn't suspected anymore. Yep. I'm glad, too. We won't have to keep running from everyone anymore. Neon, we're both exhausted. I'm going to go get some sleep. Our rescue team gets revived tomorrow. Let's do our best. Absolutely wonderful. The next morning. We're finally home. Water. Apples! There you are, Shane. <laughs> Good morning! Did you sleep well? Alright, we'll get right back into doing rescues. The Silent Polipper. Only saying extra extra when dropping news for dramatics, otherwise... Silence! And look, Polipper is bringing us mail already. Let's try and do our best like we always did, Neon. We'll check the mail. Seven Wonders of Pokemon. Let's read. The Seven Wonders of Pokemon, the mysterious feat of Diglett. What is inside Fortress's shell? The intelligence of Girafferig's tail. Our box, variety of patterns. We await submissions from readers on other Pokemon mysteries. I think they're running out of headlines. A letter from Polipper. Yo, amigo, it's awesome you're back. I'll be delivering mail to you again. I've been looking forward to this with my bill outstretched. I'll deliver tons of mail, so you better be ready, amigo. Oh, and of course, store. We're gonna check town. <gasps> I can take, I, I have taunt. I can get a friend area. Oh! 
I have two taunts. I expected this. I thought there had to be a mistake. I mean, look at you. You don't look like the start who can be up to no good. I'll keep looking after your things, dears. You can always count on me. It's nice that some people believed in me. And now, to put away just a massive amount of our... We got so many reviver seeds. Absolutely magical. I'm keeping my power band. I'll put the items you chose in storage, okay? Okay, stored away. You can count on me. I know I can. It was your statues that brought me all my items, too. What statues? Uh, huh. Yep, because we, we're going to Mount, we're going to Mount Thunder. La 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 la. I'm so sorry. I was convinced that Neon had to be the one. I'm very ashamed that I treated a valuable customer with such disdain and suspicion. It isn't just you, my brother. It, I am guilty the same. Brother. My brother. Brother. My brother. Tell me what are we fighting for? Tell me how to end this war. We both promise we will not repeat the same mistake. I will do my best to obtain even better technical machines and orbs. I hope for your continued patronage. La 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 la. Bullet seed. It feels like it got even... But calm mind? Why, why is that so expensive? It raises Pokemon special def attack and defense by one level. One level! Bullet seed. A 10 PP move. Teach the move Bullet Seed. Inflicts damage on the target even at a distance. It hits two to five times per use. Might grab that for... Mm, I do have a lot of money. In fact, I probably have a bunch of things I can sell. I'm so sorry. I was fully convinced of your guilt, Neon. But I'm glad to hear you are free of that cloud of suspicion. I'll never give you my... I'll never give you my business again. I hope you won't say that. Hello. <laughs> for a moment, I was just like, hey, what... My dude. And we don't even get a discount. <laughs> well, let's see. What other things do we want to grab and sell? Because I don't want to... Maybe the link boxes? Because I'm never going to... I'm going to sell the link boxes. I am never going to use link boxes. Like, sure, they might be interesting to have if you're, like, in one of those moments of, oh, you don't have access, blah, blah, blah. I'll sell one facade, because why not? It'll probably only give me 500, because they are they're very mean. They're very mean. Very, very mean. They're very, very mean. And the gold ribbon. I forgot that we had a gold ribbon. Oh! oh! We have lots of things to sell, because I want that bullet seed for my boy! Jesus Christ, how horrifying. You sell that for like a thousand, dude. If I can just whittle it away, a few hundred. Never mind, I didn't even have to sell that, I should've just sold that. I'm a dum-dum. I am the biggest dum-dum in the world. It would have been nice if you gave me a discount for, you know, chasing me off. But hey, at least you have a bullet seed in stock, so I'll take that. I'll take it. Thank you so much. I probably should have checked to see if any new friend areas have been added. Hello, Bellsprout. I am truly sorry for what happened. Sorry for suspecting you. We got conned by Gengar. I'm sorry. Oh, no. I thought you were completely guilty. I'm sorry you had to go through such a miserable time. So what became of Alakazam's team? Did they head underground? Groudon. Mythical Pokemon. It is rather worrying. But I suppose it is Alakazam's team. They should be fine. Love the music. I'm so glad Neon isn't under suspicion anymore. 
I just knew Neon couldn't be evil. I hope you keep doing good with your rescue work. I regret this. Now some old folklore I told could cause such an uproar. I got carried away and recounted that tale. I should have left well enough alone. Well, I guess it's nice that, really, it's not your fault. You were just, folklore is awesome and you were sharing it. It's everybody else that went insane. Hey, Wigglytuff. I believed in you, Neon, because you're my friend. Friends are my treasures. Welcome to the Wigglytuff Club. Well, you don't even have any new areas. All right, then I'll put away the rest of my money. I do apologize. How could one run a bank without trusting clients? I promise to satisfy all your banking needs from now on. I hope you'll stay. You're the only bank. Where else could I go, my dude? But now I have over 10,000 pokey. Let's take a look what's available. You have another one? What will you give me? A reviver seed. Well, let's see, what jobs do I have? Sinister Woods, four Sinister, a Silent Chasm, and one Mount Thunder. There's only one Mount Thunder, or, well, two, but we're not, we're not gonna fucking count that. Max Elixir Plus. La 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 I guess we'll go ahead and delete these two. And we'll take this Mount Thunder and this Mount Freeze. And that leaves me with no places. All right. La 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 la. Oh, let's talk to the dojo guy. Well, let's first talk to Gulpin. I doubted you, too. I do so apologize. If you could wipe the slate clean, I will do my best to serve your linking, ser need uh, linking needs. And now let's go and talk to the dojo. Wow, you have nothing to say. And they added more. I wonder if this is all that's left. Normal, fire, ice, ground. Well, we'll finish that next time. But yeah, I think that'll do it. We've been going for almost four hours. And we completed a major story section. One of my favorite. Just utterly fantastic. Especially the fu run, run, runaway fugitive song. Just utterly fantastic. Uh, but that'll do it for now. Because we've been going for way too long. But that's only because this game is wonderful. I love the story. And I was just like, story, 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 story. Whew, but what did we do today? We went and saw Zatu on the Cliff of Ancients, I think it was. Something like that. And Zatu said that he stared into the sun so hard his eyes don't hurt anymore. And proclaimed that the natural disasters are being caused by a thing. And that... Yeah, I was human. And that they were somehow linked. But of course, they decide to throw in the curveball about the legend. And then Gengar was unhappy that he couldn't literally recruit the Caterpie child into his gang of world domination. <laughs> so he decided, I'm going to spread this lie about Neon so that Neon gets chased. But yeah, I really want to know, when writing the story, like, what time compression? <laughs> How long oh, in the story... Were we running? How long and how far? Utter madness. Absolutely utter madness. And it's just like, that's the kind of thing that is like fanfic fuel. What happened on the journey is just like, oh sure, it's like not much happened. Because obviously it was just like running through from like over the fissures, through the burning forests. 
And uh, it was like, oh, they're still on our tail through the Lapis Cave and then Mount Blaze and then the Frosty Forest, thinking that there was no Pokemon for miles that are running after us. And then Alakazam's team still caught up to us, because they're badasses. Still kind of rude. <laughs> He's kind of honor before reason kind of stupid guy. Sure, he <laughs> he let us go at the beginning, but that was as much he was gonna as much as he was going to bend it. I kind of wish that they did let us fight Alakazam's team, but hey, what you gonna do? But anyway. That's all that happened today, and that was a lot today. Next time, we'll probably go and try finishing off the dojo. If that is even finishing off the dojo. Who knows? And uh, probably just do a bunch of normal. We can finally get that friend area. <laughs> finally get that friend area by turning in a taunt. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Been looking for a taunt this entire time, and it gave me two because the game is mean and wants to taunt me with taunt. <laughs> I think it was actually my first double TM at that. The one that I've been looking for the longest. I get two of, and it's called taunt. But will I play this next stream? I don't know. It depends on how much more progress I make on Kingdom Hearts. Maybe I'll even want to do a bit of uh, Age of Calamity. I might want to jo do a bit of the DLC maybe. Maybe, maybe. It all depends. All, all depends. But at the same time, I kind of... Uh, there's also the resource grinding I kind of want to do in Age of Calamity. So much to do. And I don't really feel like doing a grind stream. Because I don't think I have the viewership for that. <laughs> I'm not at the point where people will just come flocking to me to watch me grind video games. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. Next time it'll either be Kingdom Heart. well, yeah, it'll basically be any of the three that I'm currently playing, depending on how far I make it with my grinding in Kingdom Hearts and whether or not I want to play more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon versus Age of Calamity. <laughs> basically a coin toss. But anyways... Thank you very much for watching. I have been Neon Icy Wings, and this has been more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. Utterly fantastic game. If you want more from me, you can watch edited content on YouTube. Neon Icy Wings. Although I only post once in a blue moon because I'm very slow, and life is throwing things at me rather quickly, so actually sitting down to edit and making progress elsewhere is difficult. <laughs> And if you want to catch up on other streams, archives of the stream can be found at YouTube Neon Icy Games. And if you're one of those people watching one of these streams on Neon Icy Games, then you can watch me play these games live at twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. I usually stream every day that I can about 5 to 6 p.m. for the stream to start. <laughs> and then I go however long I feel like, basically. As long as I can just feel like it. Like, this is one of the longer ones because it's just like, yeah, game, story, yeah. If you want other things from me, like art, you can see me post things on Twitter, DeviantArt, Tumblr, and Newgrounds. In fact, I actually posted an art today. I should have loaded it up. If I wanted to, I could probably load it up. Hmm. I'll load it up. I'm a madman. He's a madman. Help us save us. I'll load up an image. Because I'm a madman. It's a super big file because I draw on a big canvas. Whoop! There we are. This is what I created. In honor of the Rialu, who is going to be my partner in... Explorers of Sky once I get to it. Yep, yep. Just gonna show that off because it's my stream and I'm gonna plug whatever I want. Sure, it doesn't look the bestie best, but eh, I think it's not terrible. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I've been the Ice Wings, and this has been Pokemon Mr. Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, an awesome game. 
And I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.